Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Welcome, Raiders. <laughs> Rengetsu-san, arigatou gozaimasu. Hello. Ohayou gozaimasu. Good morning. <laughs> Thank you for the raid. Raido, arigatou gozaimasu. Otsukare sama deshita. <laughs> Thank you. I really appreciate that. Minasan, irashai. Welcome in, everyone. We are returning now with another cozy stream of Paper Mario. Let me go ahead and open this up. Boop. <laughs> Rengatsuki, Rengatsu-san, how was your stream? Anato no haishin wa to deshita ka? I bet it was very cozy and comfy. <laughs> Welcome in, everyone. Welcome in Soso -so and Rengetsu-san, Chi, and Up for Red, J.A. When does Paper Luigi show up? We're gonna go visit him very soon, J.A. <laughs> Welcome in, everyone. Rengetsu-san, arigatou gozaimasu. Otsukare sama deshita. Oreido, arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you for your hard work. Thank you for your your raid oh <laughs> so so oh my goodness thank you thank you for the 100 bits yakubitsu for folks just joining us please check out rengetsu san they are a japanese artist although i know they say that they um are very humble about their artwork and you may have seen some of their artwork on um uh, Twitter or X. Uh, I like to repost it when I receive it. Um, it's very, very cute. A very nice painterly style artwork. Um, they have a nice cozy vibe over there. A lot of the time it's beautiful, relaxing music so you can uh, get tucked into bed and get ready to go to sleep. And you get to watch really nice, lovely drawings of all of our friends. Please check out Rengetsu-san and give them a lot of love. <laughs> Rengetsu-san, would you like to play the, um, our RPG minigame? Mina-san, Irishai, welcome in. From Rengetsu-san, Miao-li, welcome in. <laughs> Foxy, mlim mlim, pera pera. Welcome in, Foxy. Mm -hmm. Reimei-san, Irishai, welcome in. Landing, oh, so cute. Totemo kawaii desu ne. Mm -hmm. Yes, Rengetsu-san, arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you so much for the raid. I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> Thank you. We are going to play some Paper Mario today. And um, as you can see, we've already rescued four star spirits. We're going to be looking for the fifth one there. And... Uh, to go there, we'll need to go travel to a land full of lava. Before we do that, I think we're going to do a little bit of side questing, though. Maybe we will see some Paper Luigi. And, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do today. Welcome in again, everyone. Minasan, irashai. I hope you're having a wonderful Friday or Saturday, wherever you are. <laughs> the bonk, yes. <laughs> Paper Mario, oh my gosh, <laughs> shalom, Funk Doc, welcome in, ow, <laughs> Nikoi Star, thank you for the 100 bits, meow, <laughs> Yakubitsu, arigatou gozaimasu, thank you. Yes, we're gonna start up um here, so why don't we do that? But yes, Rengetsu-san, let me know if you want to play the MRPG, I know you might also be getting ready for bed too. Cheer party, cheer, bunk. Zio, nyonpasu, welcome in. Otsukare sama deshita. Thank you for your hard work. My lady, we are enjoying the awesome, amazing, astounding arts by Rengetsuki san. Sensei, yes! Rengetsu san has beautiful artwork. It's very. It's got a very, um, um, charming and, uh, young kind of look to it, doesn't it? I feel like when you see Rengetsu's artwork, it's, it's very charming. Um, Rengetsu-san is very humble about their artwork, but I think it's very lovely. Mm -hmm. How's Mario going? Going pretty well. We're about to start up, and we are looking for our fifth spirit. But I'm gonna do some more side questing. 
Thank you for the head pets. I'm gonna do some side questing before we um, head over to uh, the piers and check out what's over there. And thank you for the hydrate. I will do that too. Tatsuya, welcome in. Welcome in, everyone. How are y'all doing today? Also, thank you all for the level 91 hype train. Whoa! <laughs> Thanks for the shout out. I'm gonna go now, but hope y'all have a good day. Rengetsu san, arigatou gozaimasu. Otsukari sama deshita. Itere shai, take care. Rest well. Yasumi, Yasumi, rest well. <laughs> footy footy, yes. <laughs> In the flask, I had to get some of the hydration. There's water. You love Paper Mario. Mabaroshi, welcome in. Good to see you. It is really fun. It's a really fun game, isn't it? Let's go ahead and load up. <laughs> Let me check the audio. It looks a teeny bit quiet. <laughs> Is it okay? Or could it afford to be a little louder? No <laughs> water. It is water. <laughs> Meowly, please. It's water. The anti-hydrate water. Okay, well, to be fair, I did... I did make another mocha right before stream. And I did partake in some of that. So... Yeah, we'll see how I feel in about an hour or so. You think it's fine? Ah, oh, thank you, Mavaroshi. I hope so. Let me know if it's ever too quiet. I'll keep an eye out for it, but it looks okay. You got back home from your friend, and um, you read some poetry together. How very lovely. I haven't read poetry in a long time. Oh yes, we have all these. I cannot afford. <laughs> yes, exactly. The mocha with the chocolate. The dark cocoa powder. <laughs> oh, oops. That's new. Mario, Mario, I'm bursting! I helped Minty fix up the flower garden. She thanked me and smiled. I've never been so happy. Okay, I should calm down. I shouldn't get so worked up when everyone in town is having such a hard time. Interesting. Do, 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 do. I'm trying to remember if there's any other little side quests we had. Um, let's take a look at our items. I could try to fight the master again. That's something. Red Yoshi Kid. We'll have to find that place later. Yeah, maybe we'll try to fight the master, see how we do. I don't know, Lou. We only have 15 HP. Might work. Let's go, Arcade. Thank you. Welcome in, Arcade. Cheer, cheer, cheer. Nom, nom, pet, pet. Well, oh, actually, hold up. Do I have... Um, I think I bought myself a replacement for the- yeah, I have two life shrooms. Mmm. Maybe I'll deposit those. I'm not sure if I want those to be used as I'm battling the master. Actually, I think I should shop over this way. Well, since J.A. keeps asking about Luigi, we'll show Luigi really quick. The master can be pretty scary, as I'm sure you know. He's very scary. <laughs> very, very scary. Mm. There you go. J.A., here is Paper Luigi. Right here. Luigi. Exactly. <laughs> Me, Fionn, welcome in. <laughs> Luigi. I feel bad for him. He wants to so badly join us. And we're like, no, it's okay. You sit here and watch the house. Okay, brother. Yeah, 
I guess I read everything. Oop. You stay here, Luigi. But Mario, I really want to come. No can do. I have Mario. <laughs> do you think you'll ever play any of the Mario and Luigi games? I'd love to. Um, I need to look and see if I actually have my copy of it. My family's copy, I should say. Uh, I'm pretty sure my younger brother might have taken that when we left the nest. I'll have to check, though. I actually, um, don't have a... I definitely know he took Bowser's Inside Story. I would love to play that. Thank you for the hydrate and the head pets. Sephiroth, welcome in. <laughs> Hope you're having a good day. But yeah, Bowser's Inside Story was a lot of fun. I, um... I also enjoyed, uh, I, I always get them confused. I bring this up every time, but there's, um, there's one with the purple mushrooms. I think they're called the shrooms. It's been ages since I played. Um, pizza! Yum, 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 yum. Thank you. Um, yeah, there's one with the shrooms, and I feel like that was, like, probably the hardest Mario and Luigi game. Mmm... -hmm. And there's like one other one, I think they're babies? I don't remember which one's which, it's been forever. Pizza, but it's going away and I can't get it. Anyway, the shroom one was very difficult, I remember that. Near the end. <laughs> Pizza party for you all. <laughs> Maybe you get your own game one day, Luigi. Oh yeah, Mario, well, I'll show you. I'll, I'll get a vacuum. <laughs> I actually do like um, uh, Luigi's Mansion. It's surprisingly creepy. I went to the store to go drop things off and I forgot because I was showing J.A. Paper Luigi. The Division of Games, you feel me? Yeah, you know. You have to make a hard decision of like, well... You can have this one. I want this one. <laughs> this Mario looks different to you. Um, this is on the Nintendo Switch. I do have my N64 copy, but it was just more convenient to put on the Switch so I can have a um, crisper graphics. Uh, the cable I have for my Nintendo 64 is... Um, it's not a component-based one, so it looks a little blurrier. Look at all the good pizza puffs. Look at you, Sephiroth. <laughs> so much pizza. You don't think you asked, but um, you don't know how I approached. Uh, wait, you don't know how I approached what I play on stream. Games you want to explore or consult the orb? <laughs> there is no orb. <laughs> um, a lot of the times I want to play new things on stream. But every now and then I want to play and share something I really enjoy. So, uh, Paper Mario is one I, I really enjoyed. Um, eventually, I want to play games like Golden Sun for you all, because I really enjoyed Golden Sun. But the interesting thing is, I haven't played these games in ages, right? I just remember the feeling it left me with. I remember really enjoying my time. And so, after some time elapses, it's rather lovely to be able to experience it again, feeling like it's the first time all over again. And I think that's kind of how um, I enjoy it, selecting what we play. Generally though, if someone does gift me a game on Throne, um, I will prioritize that for a playthrough. So that's usually how I choose what games we play. When did someone summon you? J.A., we just saw Paper Luigi. You just missed him. He, he was at home. In your opinion, Luigi has much more personality than Mario. In this game or just in general? I'm trying to think. Because, yeah, Luigi tends to have more of, um, <laughs> more of his own thing, like his ambitions and his uh, emotions. I guess because most of the time you play as Mario, Mario's just kind of there. It kind of happened organically for you. You have two brothers, and one brother took the Xbox, the Wii, and the GameCube. All got sold at a yard sale for $3 each. If you had known, you would have bought them, because you had Cubivore and some others in that collection. 
And you want to play out the Genesis on N64? Wait, 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 wait. Your younger brother sold the GameCube, Xbox, and Wii for $3 each? Did I read that right? Your younger brother sold these for like $9? Thank you for the headpets and the hydrate, Maroshi. The game yesterday was adorable, wasn't it? I want to finish it. That's my nose. That's bread. Thank you. That's my nose. You can. <laughs> I'm trying to catch up. That's my nose. <laughs> I'm trying to catch up. Stop pointing at my nose. <laughs> TJ, welcome in. Hello, hello. Hello, Dusty. Welcome in. Each game was $3 a piece. You think he sold console at the time for like $20? Oh no! I'm sorry, Darkade. That, that's very painful realization. Oh no. Especially now, I think. Well, you know. Those things are going for like $80 a pop probably now. That's the floor. <laughs> Also, welcome in, Jin. Welcome, welcome. Touchdown. You love Paper Mario. A pleasant possum. Welcome back. Good to see you. Yeah, we're gonna go um, deposit some items and see if we can challenge the master. See how we do. I would take these with me, but I don't really want to use them. Because I don't have money. And... I want to save those <laughs> until I get money. I should review my badges as well. I honestly didn't know that 30 badge points were the maximum. Goombario! I love Goombario! That's why he's always with me. <laughs> I always have him out because I want to hear him talk about everything. Yay! The fur has arrived to lurk. Metal Ferret, welcome in. Thank you for the lurk. Enjoy your lurk. Hope you're doing well. The deposit. Exactly. We had to deposit it. I get a little bit tripped out when it's, um, that's the map. I get a little tripped out when, um, it says check or claim. Claim makes sense, but check is, uh, they both make sense. I just would have expected it to be like, I don't know, deposit and, um, like, uh, retrieve or something. Just different verbs. <laughs> I might not need group focus, maybe. We'll try to set ourselves up differently for the master here. Mm -hmm. What else might we have? Mm -hmm. Wow, is this really all I have? Oh wait, this is active badges. I was like, hold up. Nice power. We could throw the defend plus on. That might help us just a teeny bit. HP probably would. If I was really good at the, um, I think it's the power bounce. I'd probably attempt that. I guess I could try it. Huh. Yeah, that would be good to do. If I was good at it. Or multi-bounce. D down jump. Hmm. Or just multi-bounce, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> Double point. I guess we could try this. Wait, what's this one? Oh, all enemies. Hmm. I feel like multi bounce would be the same thing. And it's cheaper. Mm 
I kind of want the defend on, but he does so much damage that defense is probably not going to be helpful. Mm -hmm. Thanks for sharing your process of playing games. It's always fun to see how people pick games. Yeah, thank you for asking. There are there are a lot of games I want to show off. But um, a lot of the time, again, uh, I want to play things I haven't played before. If I have played it before, it's because I know it's something that um, I find enjoyable and uh, I want to share the love of it. Like Lifeline. I love Lifeline. Or the Star Ocean series. Sometimes I think about like <laughs> just just really like uh, promoting the heck out of Star Ocean. It's like, play Star Ocean. I love Star Ocean, please. I wonder if I want... Uh... Ooh, a donut. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe jump charge? Is there anything else for two points I can get? Double dip, I guess. Let's <laughs> so try this and that. See how that goes. I'm gonna do a little save because we did a little preparation there. Um, and then we'll go to Tenth the Master. I should have probably put Bow. Because I think Bow can do just a little bit more damage. Sure if I'll get this. I probably should have practiced. This game is not rated M. <laughs> it's a rated M for Mario. No Zio. Hello, princess. Oops, well that didn't go well. We survived! Amazing! Well, that's not amazing. <laughs> yeah, he's right. I'm not gonna win like that. Man, I'm rusty on the timing. Yes! <laughs> I didn't do anything! Oh, if I had the live stream, maybe. Ooh, 
we tried. I need to get better at the multi-jump. It'd be easy with if I had it. Where's my HP at? Alrighty, time to try again. <laughs> Rig. <laughs> I didn't do very good. <laughs> I don't know the timing. Oh, I forgot to heal the flower points. We're so messed up. I didn't heal the flower points. No! What is this? Whoa, what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I never seen that. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I never seen that. Okay, let's go get healed. Oops! Well, the good news is we can practice our super jump ability. Hopefully I'll get better. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> Nanashi-san, Imamushi, 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 Imamushi. That other time we did okay, I think. Spawn, thank you for the raid. Welcome in, raiders. How is the rest of the 100% de-rusting in Lifeline? I was just sharing with everyone I love Lifeline. <laughs> How was it? Welcome in, raiders. <laughs> cheer party, cheer. Welcome, raiders. Thank you for the shout out to Spawn. It was good? Nice! Yes, folks, if you don't know Spawn, please go check him out. He is a speedrunner of some really awesome games, um, including, again, one of my favorites, Lifeline, as well as um, Ephemeral Fantasia. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Foro arigatouzaimasu. Yireshai. Yeah, Spawn runs a lot of cool games, um, and I'm always learning something new when I watch him. He, uh, He's been doing a lot of practicing uh, and exploration in Lifeline recently, and he might be coming after my title. <laughs> he probably He's probably after my title right now <laughs> in 100% run, but if anyone deserves it, I think Spawn does because he definitely is putting in the work to learn all the cool stuff. But um, yes, please check out Spawn. Very, very cool person, super cozy vibes over there, and plays a, a lot of cool speedrunning games. And for anyone new from Spawn, welcome in again. My name is Alden. I'm a blue healer, and I like to voice act. We are playing Paper Mario, and I'm attempting to fight the master in this dojo. Spawn, would you like to play the ORPG? It's um, my little mini game I made to celebrate those who raid in, get a subscription, or subscribe themselves. And if you win, you can win an illustration from me. All you gotta do to play is say yes and hang around a few minutes. Lifeline! Yes, yo! Lifeline! Super Mario! <laughs> Ink Slime, welcome in! Sounds good? Alright, let's go play. Let me, um, get that ready for you. Almost sounds like, um, Siobhan. Yeah, Siobhan's a really pretty sounding name, huh? Alrighty, this is for Team Spawn. Please type an exclamation point join to help out the team. May you all defeat the dragon and win Spawn in illustration. <laughs> I was just talking about Lifeline five minutes ago. <laughs> Turquoise, I, I was watching Spawn. <laughs> I was watching Spawn earlier, learning all sorts of cool things. Again, this is to celebrate Spawn for raiding in. Please type an exclamation point join to help out the team. Squish, squish, squish. Do our best, everyone. There's the dragon. Here's Team Spawn, led by a cutie. We have Moose and Zeo, the Ghost, the Rico Blast, big damage. 
and the cat's Moogle attack. Aurora. And there's Sephiroth. They're not your average bogs. Dino Dance. Please type an exclamation point blast to help the team with their final strike. <laughs> it is Rio. <laughs> it's really funny. She's like, what are you doing, operator? They're so so blessing the team. Big damage. Big damage for the final strike. But not quite enough. Everyone, thank you for helping out Team Spawn. Spawn, thank you again for the raid. I appreciate that. And GG again on D Rusting in my line. Pleasant Blossom, congratulations, now level 5. And Lynx, congratulations, now level 28. <laughs> Zeo, very close to level up as well. Very nice. <laughs> Napaningo-san, ohayou gozaimasu. Good morning. Welcome in. All right, I'm learning <laughs> how to use the super jump. I don't really actually know the timing very well. I think I, I'm figuring it out, but we'll see. Yeah, of course, Spawn. Thank you again for the raid. I hope to catch your um your next lifeline stream. It's always fun. Always a pleasure to be there. Chum 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 chum. Oopsie. Too late. You love the sensei's combat dance. Look at him. He's like, yeah. <laughs> when he, he first um transforms and, and has that like a... Uh, I feel like it's a two times animation. It, like the speed. It looks kind of cool. Dance, dance. It was very close. Oh, I don't know this one. Ouch! Hmm. Mess it up. Trouble. Okay, we're not in trouble. <laughs> <Woo. laughs> Sorry, my dog barked. The damage. Woo. <laughs> Thank you for the GG turquoise. The damage ink slime. Nice! We did it! It only took three tries. <laughs> cheer, buddy, cheer! Mm, that was a solid fight. Very well. I give you this. You got the fourth degree card. Proof of Mario's strength for besting the master at the dojo. Nanato, 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 Ananda. <laughs> no. <laughs> you are welcome to train here with us any time. <laughs> we can fight again, really? I think he said this last time. The flex. <laughs> 
I feel like he said this last time. Oh no, no, he's different. Whoa! Behold my fury, Mario! He's different. I didn't know. He is the master. He owns the dojo. And he's the strongest member. The fire. Whoa! This is fine. <laughs> I didn't know we could fight him again. I thought he said the same thing last time. What the heck? <laughs> oh no! The fire. He has 99 HP. 10 attack power. 1 defense. Max HP, 99. Attack power, 10. Defense power, 1. The fire. He may well know a few moves I've never heard of. We can't expect mercy from this guy, so let's take the fight to him. I'm in trouble. You have great hidden strength for one clothed like a plumber. Thank you for the hint pets. You underestimate me, Mario. Did you really think you could win? No defense. <laughs> He's gonna get me. Ow! Ouch. We tried. I didn't know he had, um, he had another phase. I don't know if I ever fought that. Nero, nero, nero. <laughs> That's us. <laughs> Going to bed. Nice HP. <laughs> did he, did we do 30 damage? We might be able to do it if I'm, uh, good. Check our stats really quick. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really have anything to help out. I could try this thing. I have no idea what this does. I don't think he can paralyze this guy. <laughs> oh, I messed that up big time. Mm 
It's not doing a lot of damage, though. Logic, welcome in. There is always this. making that. <laughs> the music is so catchy. I messed up that play. I'll be back. Maybe I'll take off the, um, if I'm going for low HP, I'll probably take off the, uh, the HP badge here. Put the flower one on. Get more flower power. Mm -hmm. Hi, Logic. Welcome in. When does Paper Cheese Scene show up? Hmm. I don't know if they got Paper Cobby going in here. The gaming play actually had really jam music. I'm glad you thought so, too. I want to finish it up and do 100% on it. Um... I, I feel like one of two things could happen with that game. Either we're like right at the very end where we get the rocket pieces and then we beat the game. Or we're halfway through, we get the rocket pieces and it unlocks another land. I think it probably is the um, former, but I don't know. But my hunch is it's the former. Thank you for putting me in the N64 form. I just stare and blink for the next three minutes. I need some 64 power for this boss. Yes. Thank you. What would have we added a hole punch as a weapon? Oh no. <laughs> Ink slime. Yes. <laughs> Quite possibly. All right, let's attempt it again. I think we could do it. I just got to play better. Play better and, uh, Hope that um, my lucky stat kicks in. I could put in bow as well, honestly. Maybe I'll try that strategy next time. Dance, dance, dance! Oh, I wasn't paying attention! Well,. We kind of need something like that to happen. I was like, ooh, it zoomed in. Then it got messed up. If I was bow, I just swap out. got me. He got me. Oh. We'll try with Bo. At least Bo can put us into a, a safe mode so we can attempt again. 29 HP. Yeah, that was actually a really good run. Let's go heal up and then we'll try with Bo. 
two lucky in a row, yeah! If only we could have got the third one, <laughs> and then maybe we would have had a chance. I did mess up on a couple of the jumps. It was so close! Aurora! Cheer, cheer, cheer! Thank you! <laughs> That's exactly what <laughs> my face arcade, like, ah! Oh. The blue dog is staring blankly at the screen. Now I'm blinking. <laughs> Thank you for putting me in my anime form. Also, welcome in, Alu. Let me get some water really quick. Oops, not this. We'll try with bow. <laughs> oh, right, because he only has he has one defense. That doesn't help. Oops. Hmm, that's unfortunate. We'll just sit around and see if we can get to peril. Nope, that's not happening. Uh. <laughs> we'll try one more time in peril mode right now. <laughs> so close! <laughs> Almost to peril. Majin, welcome in! Going for the lucky. Ah! <laughs> howdy, howdy, Majin. Welcome in. Uh, let's go heal up. I think we have an idea here. Although, Goombario is kind of helping. That's my nose! <laughs> nose. The nose, nose. The boop. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize Bo won't be able to help us. That's unfortunate. We're so close. She can't do anything, it's a wasted turn. Well, that'll help. Yum, 
Pussu. You're out today, and it's snowing a little outside. Oh, take care. I hope that the snow is um lovely to look at. Hopefully not too cold for you. Stay warm, Machan-san. Yumpasu. better off with Goombario. At least Goombario can help with, uh, attacking. Bombed maybe even two. I don't know if she does as much damage consistently, but I guess we can see. Let's go get healed up. <laughs> non pizza. <laughs> we want the pizza, Sephiroth. I mean, you could cheese this battle, I guess, with a bunch of life shrooms. It would be tempting, too, to also see if I can actually lower his defense with Watt. Watt's ability supposedly lets you lower the defense. <laughs> You're having a little fun with Yampasu. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Let us have the pizza, though. <laughs> I wish I could use these things. Yeah. though. Glad to see you all again. Yeah, it's good to see you too, Machan-san. Back to work, Zio. Have a good day at work. Thanks for dropping by. Take care, Zio. Itada shy. Uh, <laughs> not merciful. I think we had the best luck with Goombario. I will try out Watt, maybe, and see if that ability works. We'll check it out. Welcome in, Zoot Zoot. Yeah, and time for the true master. We're trying. It's nice because it gives me the opportunity to um, practice the jump, because I actually never used it prior. Oh! <laughs> J.A., thank you for gifting a sub to the Pizza Puffs. Congrats to Sirius Simon. Please enjoy the emotes, courtesy of J.A. <laughs> oh, that thought it's time to fire up the band. Okay. Let me hold this little baby, though. Okay. <laughs> Holding little Watt. Dino dance, Dino dance. Cheer party, cheer. Woody Woody, Dino Dance. Oh, 
Alrighty, this is for Team J.A. to celebrate him gifting a sub to the Pizza Pops. Please type an exclamation point join to help out the team. May you all defeat the dragon and win an illustration for J.A. Spoiler! No, J.A. No spoiler! Depot deck. Alrighty, last call. Please type an exclamation point join to help out the team. Squish, squish, squish. Also, one second. I will be right back while you all are joining. Let's do our best. Gumbunny must. Good evening, Gemini. Welcome in. And Seru, welcome, welcome. There's the dragon. Here's Team J.A. led by Mushy, Seru, and Lu. That's Baby and Princess. They're not your average fogs. And the cat's move will attack. And the leafy on explosion! Critical hit, oh my! Please type an exclamation point blast to help the team with their final strike. There goes a loop blessing the team! Big damage! Big damage with the final strike! But not quite enough! It must have had like 2 HP! Everyone, thank you for helping out Team J.A. J.A., thank you for the gift sub. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Rigged. Jedi Death. Not rigged. <laughs> Not rigged. Oh, a lose very close to leveling up. We tried. Ah. Uh... Ian, we tried. GG, pet pet. <laughs> How do I sleep at night? Well, I get curled up into a little ball underneath a blanket, and then I go, hunk shoo. <laughs> hunk shoo. That's how it happens, GA. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's all you can do against such rigged games. Not rigged. Rigged Janidas. You know, it's possible you saw it happen once. Exactly. More than possible. We've had multiple winners. <laughs> is Wolf and Flax broken? They shouldn't be. Can someone who is subscribed do a Wolf or Bless? Or Flex? Not Bless. <laughs> Ooh. There you go. Oh, the sub ran out. Oh no. Ooh. That's all I was wrong. Got you. Genie, welcome in. All right, we're going to see if Watt can help us here. Maybe.
<laughs> Those are back muscles. Alright, I want to see if this works. Oh, maybe this just does damage. Hmm. Hold down A and release. Okay. I actually haven't tried this. Well, it does one damage. Never mind. We're not using a lot. Thank you for the six months of support. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Do you want to play the RPG? Cheer party, cheer. Hello again, Genie. Yes, please. Alrighty. Let me get that set up for you. Um. Doo -doo -doo. Can someone refund uh, Zoot Suit since um, they just put us into N64 and we're going over to the RPG? Womp womp. <laughs> we could do it right now. <laughs> this this uh, run looks like it's not going to make it. Alrighty, this is for Team Loom for supporting the channel for six months. Please type an exclamation point join to help out the team. May you all defeat the dragon and win a loo in illustration. Nice join, good join. Wish, wish, wish. Already last call. This is again to celebrate Alu for supporting our channel for six months. Please type an exclamation point join to help out the team. You love the term Zoot Suit? Isn't it cool? Zoot Suits also look really cool too. Fuzzy, pet pet pet, <laughs> thank you. Let's do our best, everyone. There's the dragon. Your team will live by a Majin, a Quaystar, and a Cutie. There goes the Sephiroth explosion. Big damage. And Sephiroth again. They're not your average fogs. And the Rico Blast. Big damage. Aurora. Please type an exclamation point blast to help the team with their final strike. Cheer, cheer. There goes Gemini, blessing the team. Big damage. Big damage to the final strike. But not quite enough. Everyone, thank you for helping out Team Alu. Alu, thank you again for the six months of support. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Half a year. Wow. Majin is very close to a level up. Let's see. Nikoi Star also getting more experience points. Congratulations to Zoot Suit, now level 2. GG! No refunds. Why is Spider Man pointing to those words? GG, everybody. You try, Gemini. Nero, nero, nero. Strong. Oof. <laughs> now we're gonna get. Now we're gonna get, um. Uh, felled in battle here.
Ugh. Couldn't dodge enough. Ugh. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Memo. I wonder if I'll survive. Hmm. Good start. I would have preferred to have the charge, but we'll make it work. No. Investigating and the memo. It was going okay. Ah. I missed the jump somehow. Might be pushing it too late. I wonder. I didn't spin to win. Oh. I need that command that Juho has. I'll win for sure with that. <laughs> you have to believe in winning when spinning. There we go. Those are spinning. Now we'll win for sure. I can't believe Goombario ends up being like my strongest pick right now. I mean, that's great. I love Goombario. I just thought Bo would be able to help us a little more. actually has an increasing chance to be forced to end on bosses. It feels like it. I guess that makes sense. I was gonna say, it says I can continue forever, but I feel like it's ending abruptly sometimes. Mm. Ah, I see. It makes sense. It feels like it. Whoopsie. Oh, I didn't do that one. Although maybe I should have let both. Oh well. Just enough damage. I was really hoping to dodge both. We could have had it. Mm -hmm. Hacking insane amounts of charge still lets you uh, go out on them. Goombar is our little battle buddy. Yeah. Take a nap. There is a hint system I like. Yes, thank you, Slayer. If you do want to provide hints, please feel free to use the hint system. It allows there to be a conversation, so that, uh, uh, it's mostly for people who aren't aware that, um, advice could be seen as backseating, even if well-intentioned. Awesome, yum, Slayer and Goblin. Yes, thank you for showing how to use the hint system.
Yeah, oh, all good. Although, if I read what you said, you're saying you can do multiple charge stacks? I didn't know that was a thing. Guess we could try it. I should have just let him hit me. Yes, you can stack charges. I didn't know that. Oops. I should have let him hit me. Hmm. I'll be impressed if we survive. Uh oh. Okay, this is looking okay. I feel like we're in the same spot. No, we could use a lucky. We tried. No. I feel like we were kind of in the same spot. The biggest difference being I had a lot more um, FP. you can stack it. Maybe three? If that's the case, maybe we'll try, um... Hmm... Just try something out. You think indefinitely? I guess we'll see how far we go. her ability just yet. That was goofy. <laughs> I should have just let him hit me. Oh, I didn't know he was going to do that much damage. I would have blocked it. I don't know why I thought it was going to do five damage. Oops. I honestly thought it did 5 damage, so I let it hit. Oops! Okay, block everything. We're doing some experimentation with the master. This isn't helping. Oh no. I was hoping he would go for a different one. You can do it! <laughs> I don't know about that. I was hoping he was going to go for the, the three damage hit if I block it. But he went for that one. 
<laughs> I forgot the training. I was uh, hoping he would do a different move. It was a risk. A calculated risk. I just want to see how much I can stack. Hi Phoenix, welcome in. Your risks were calculated, but the math was bad. <laughs> That's what I feel happened to me. Hi Phoenix, welcome in. Hope you're doing well too. It's just a shame we can't use her to do damage. If I had the ability to swap out uh, members, it'd probably help. But I didn't build for that. Maybe I should consider it. Because right now, Bo is just kind of sitting around. Man, it does such big damage. Crazy. Still too much. Hmm. Eight damage, huh? I might be misremembering the damage he did. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to using Goombario. It is the upgraded master, so I guess he is doing significantly more damage. I honestly thought he was doing 5 damage earlier. I mean, this this stage of him. I know earlier he was. <laughs> you took your nightly medication? Nice. And winding down? Hope that you get some good rest very soon, Phoenix. Alright, back to you. At least Goombario can help us out with charging. Do another charge. Yeah, that did three. I don't know. I feel like I'm going crazy. Give us a few more of those. Yanbasu. Oh, I messed up. It's all over unless we can survive. Please dodge. Yes. JD, Yanbasu. Go, go. Thank you. I hope you got it. We're trying. Go, Goombario, go! He did it. <laughs> he did it! 
First try! <laughs> yes! <laughs> totally first try. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Lucky, lucky, yeah. The two luckies really helped. <laughs> JD, welcome in, Yumpasu. Cheer party, cheer. Thank you. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. You have bested me, the master. The strongest of the fighters. Since you have beaten me at my full strength, I give you this with respect. You came here for some cozy ASMR vibes before bed. Aw, thank you, Phoenix. Yes, please rest well. And have a, um, a wonderful slumber. You love the old man voice. Oh, thank you, Celerity. Thank you for your hard work earlier. It was cool to be able to catch your stream. You got the diploma. Proof of Mario's strength. Now Mario is the strongest. Why do I get to keep fighting? Mario, you have already proven yourself stronger than me. You should train by yourself out in the wide world. I also need to keep on training. <sighs> Poor dude. <laughs> Alan's in for seconds, old man. Get yourself ready. <laughs> Celerity, please. <laughs> uh, let's -a go. Hurry up. Uh. We gotta go. <laughs> Mario, please. I'm elderly. I just got back from a worldly trip. Oh, wait, wait. I want to show off my diploma to this dude. <laughs> Have you heard about the monster? The monster at the port? Everyone is pretty shook up. But I'm not. I know you'll take care of it. What? Mm -hmm. Oh, is this guy I want to show it to? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You were listening to a broadcast on the radio, and your voice sounded like the witch from the Disney's Haunted Mansion. <laughs> I don't know what they say in the Haunted Mansion. <laughs> toil, toil, boil and bubble! <laughs> Whoa, can it be? That's... a diploma? It's real, isn't it? You defeated the master! Wow! You were the best, Mario! Well, yes! I have a hard time remembering what Mario sounds like, to be honest. All I know from Mario is, Wahoo! Let's -a go! I can't remember what his voice is supposed to sound like. College educated Mario. I went to the College of Coles uh, Coles uh, Cholesterol. Oh no! The College of Cholesterol! I went to the College of Celestial Causality! <laughs> <laughs> the College of Cholesterol, no. <laughs> Sounds like Chris Pratt. Oh, you're right. <laughs> you're right, Celerity. <laughs> the other Mario, not that Mario. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was trying to say Celestial Causality, but I said Cholesterol. I don't know if I read these. Maybe. I heard someone at- I heard that someone saw a huge monster at the port. I think it's some kind of giant, scary fish that rose from the deep sea. Christy, you're priceless. I bet you're right. Oh, you think? I, Felicity, thought it was just a poor troubled whale. It's probably a poor troubled whale. It's a falsetto. I feel like this is all new dialogue. I don't think I read this before.
I want to take you to some far off land. Perhaps to a southern island where we can be all alone. Or perhaps to some distant and undiscovered world. You're so sweet. How about the legendary Lava Lava Island? I will go anywhere in the world as long as you are beside me. <laughs> you ever been to Nintendo World in New York City? You can have a conversation with Mario there. Wait, really? The Mario? No, i never been. What? If I went to Nintendo World, I think I'd want to see the Pokemon section. I want to see all the cute Pokemon plushes. I think they exist there. And I want to see the Splatoon section. I want to see all the cute little Inkling plushes. Yeah, the plushies, right? And then I want to get a Bowser plush, yeah. Big Bowser plush. Yeah. Wait, have you been Celerity? Did the college go on a field trip to <laughs> to New York City? <laughs> Lava Lava Island? It's an island in the sea way south of Toad Town, isn't it? Folks say there's a volcano on the island that could erupt any time now. If it does, you'll sure see some lava lava. You can buy their Hanafuru, Hanafuda cards, too, since they started as a Hanafuda card company. I don't know. I heard about them being a card company. I'm not familiar with what that kind of card is. You have, and you went ice skating afterwards. Oh, how lovely. I'm sure you'd adore it there. I probably would. I love to see all that stuff. <laughs> Did you bring any souvenirs home? Big news, people! Huge news! Mario taught those shy guys a lesson they won't forget! Our town is a peaceful again! Except for people shouting! It's big news, people! We're talking massive news! I see! This toad is always very excited about whatever news he has. He's a little crazy. Even so, it's a good idea to listen to him. He may be a little excitable, but he always has news. You can't buy any merchandise on students' credit, no. I can't believe the college didn't sub subsidize the trip. It could have been for show and tell. <laughs> Hanafuda is for playing Koi Koi in various Japanese card games. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, maybe next time. Oh. I've come back. I'm sure you missed me. I got all full. I got a foolproof plan for coins. I'll see you on the road. Can see Koopa. Really? Toe Town Newsflash. What shy guy problem? Mario trounces thieves. The little larceny lovers known as shy guys have finally quit terrorizing the town. Mario tracked them to their toy box hideout, valiantly dispersed their ranks, and managed to rescue an imprisoned star spirit. To those who would prey on the innocent and weak, we say this. Mario will prevail. Interesting. If anyone has seen the movie Summer Wars, you don't remember if they're playing Koi Koi, but they do play with Han Hanafuda cards. Oh, cool. That's cool you recognize it. I haven't seen Summer Wars, though. <laughs> I haven't seen it. But if I do see it, I will definitely know. A pleasant possum told me. They may be playing with Hanafuda cards. Oh, okay. Hold up. Let me change my um my badges again. Now that we did that. Mm-hmm. 
This would be nice to have. Quick change. But I've been getting pretty far with the focus. I know I had something else on. What could I have thrown on? Oh, you know what? I probably did not have um, the HP plus. Pretty sure I had Spike Shield. And I Spy. There we go. All better again. I meant to see what this guy has over here. He might have some cool uh, badges to invest in. It was a long time ago when you watched it, but you still remember. You went down a long rabbit hole of Mario voice lines. Charles really does deserved better. The he's the original one, yes. Mm -mm. I think I got everything out of here. Yes. These stairs are interesting in that you can't walk up them; you have to jump. You know, I actually, um, maybe I should be carrying water around. She might show me something. The original and only, Ma only Mario you knew. Hmm. I wish I could conjure up that spirit. I haven't listened to enough Mario to burn into my brain, <laughs> except for let's -a go. I think, I think in 64 he says something like, um, okie dokie. Mm -hmm. What do I got in here? I do like money money. Hmm. Zap tap could be interesting. We're pretty lucky, maybe. The more damage Mario takes, the coins, the more coins he receives. Hmm. I think we'll get this. I'll think about the others. Those are correct voice lines, but like three octaves higher. You know, I'm really bad at recognizing <laughs> octaves and stuff. I only became a little self-conscious about it when one time I was going out with friends and they brought their friends uh, along. And, um, ah! <laughs> Sephiroth, oh my goodness, thank you! Thank you for getting us out of Celerity! Celerity, please enjoy the emotes courtesy of Sephiroth. Sephiroth, do you want to play the RPG? Um... But yeah, I actually don't know um, much about octaves and stuff. I only became a little self-conscious about it because, uh, just a teeny bit. Because I went out to karaoke with friends like years ago, and um, their friend was like, oh, that's the wrong key. And I was like, but I'm having fun singing. <laughs> I'm having fun singing, it's not a graded competition. <laughs> Yes, alrighty. Let me queue that up and then I'll catch up on chat. And we can chat a little bit while we're getting everyone to join. Alrighty, this is for Team Sephiroth to celebrate them gifting a sub. Please type an exclamation point join to help out the team. May you all defeat the dragon and win Sephiroth in illustration. And while you all are joining, I'm going to catch up on chat. 
You have a wonderful range of voices. Do you ever work towards adding more to your repertoire? Or do you stick with what's comfortable? I've been trying to listen more to an Australian accent, um, actually, Celerity. I think it'd be really fun to do Australian accent, but I've been having trouble hearing it for some people. Uh, I guess it, it's like anybody, like you, um, you know, depending who has a thicker version of it or not. But, um, I, because every time I hear it and I try to emulate it, I feel like I'm just coming off as weird southern. <laughs> I'm trying to do weird southern or something. Because they, they have this interesting, um, drawl, almost like a southern accent, but they, they do something else with the vowels, like they add in, I feel like they, they meld vowels together. What is your range? JD, I'm actually not sure. I've, um, I've only been doing it kind of as a hobby, so I'm not, I never had any formal training. I did go to a drop-in class one time for voice acting, and it was very fun. Um, it was very cool to see, like, so many different ranges. Like, I thought I was in a room full of people who, you know, were working on cartoons and stuff, and maybe they were, because I was like, wow, your regular voice sounds totally different from the the voice you project right now. It was very, very cool, very humbling. It was Solarity Sephiroth. Cheer, cheer, cheer. Cheer, party, cheer. A gift sub, yes. They do indeed. They do want to play. Even though the channels, Sephiroth is the patron. It's true. Sephiroth is so kind. Thank you, Sephiroth. Fire up the strife band. <laughs> Self-conscious, oh dear. Yeah, just a little bit after that. But then I realized whenever I sing with my friends and they don't bring those friends along, it's fine. <laughs> when those friends come along, I'm like, hmm, okay. They ruined it. Anything for celerity. Aw. That's bad karaoke etiquette. I thought so too, but I was like, I don't know these friends. Maybe, I don't know, they, they're really into it or something. Like maybe they felt really offended. I don't know. <laughs> but I had fun regardless. You're sorry they were spoil sports? Yeah, this was years ago. I never sang with them again. Um, I did sing with my, my friends though, and they didn't bring those friends, so. Karaoke is a safe space. I feel the same way too. I wonder how you all like to do karaoke, because I enjoy when everyone sings along, but I do know there's some people, again, like my friend's friend, who likes to be like solo singer, and I guess the, the center of attention. Nice join, good join. Tom Cardi is, has a good thick accent for Australian Phoenix? A southerner. <laughs> Your butchered Aussie comes off a soft British and the like co collab. I I guess yeah. <laughs> I remember you were doing it. You have a really nice range too, Celerity. Especially like the Scottish one. I like how you do that for the little um the sheep dragon. It's in the vowels. It is, isn't it, Phoenix? It's super fun, yeah. Awesome, welcome in. Alrighty, I will catch up on the rest of chat, but let me go ahead and let's get us started off in the fight for Sephiroth. Mia-san, ganbarimasu! Let's do our best, everyone! Whoops! That didn't work for some reason because I forgot the exclamation mark. One second! Alrighty, now let's do our best. This should work. There's the dragon. Here's Team Sephiroth, led by Chi, J.A., and Gemini. There goes the Rico Nut. Nut. And the Rico Move will attack. Will the next one also be Rico? And the Elder Goth Nut. Nut. Almost. Please type an exclamation point blast to help the team with their final strike. Sephiroth, I had to. You know that. Nuts. Nut. There goes Dusty, blessing the team. Sephiroth, come back. And don't flee. Big damage. Big damage with the final strike. But not quite enough. Everyone, thank you for helping out Team Sephiroth. Sephiroth, thank you again for gifting a sub to Solarity. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Hmm. Let's see who might be leveling up. In fact, it is J.A. J.A. is now level 23. 
the Nutroid. Yes, Gemini. Congratulations to Dusty, now level 15. Experience points have now been distributed. GG, everybody, GG. Oof. Alright, now I'll catch up with the rest of chat, too. According to one of the classes you took in the, with a linguistics degree, the Australian accent relies on the relaxation of the muscles of the back of the throat, which is why it's easier for Australians to imitate other English accents, but not the other way around. All they had to do is learn to tighten those muscles, which is easier. I wonder... I wonder how that works. I've heard something about the same thing when I was looking up um, videos for that uh, A Pleasant Possum. I heard that you're supposed to kind of, I guess, take your time, and they also, uh, at least guides for imitating an Australian accent, these guides suggest that you should kind of have an upward inflection at the end of your sentence, almost like you're doing a question, but also smile, because supposedly Australians always sound happy, <laughs> supposedly, according to this guide. Um, but they did say yes, they did say something about being relaxed. Hope you get to play and have fun with voice things. Yeah. I've been enjoying it a lot. I do want to expand my range. At least accent-wise. I would love to get higher pitch as well, but it's, um... It's very difficult. Very taxing on my throat. <laughs> possum, stay here. <laughs> Welcome in again, Possum. Aww. You're my pal too, Possum. Thank you for the help. You don't like karaoke at all. Possum, that's not true. Well, actually, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how you feel about singing. But I do know you were singing. You were singing about... <laughs> being Gaston. <laughs> You're always singing on stream. Isn't it fun? <laughs> Refund. Police open up. No. <laughs> Jay, please. <laughs> the power of the sun in the palm of Paper Mario's hand. The power of the sun. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, right here. <laughs> I'm walking around because I'm looking for hidden treasures. I do want to take a visit back to, um, Goombario's town. Ow! Sephiroth, no! <laughs> Refund! Sephiroth, please! Thank you for the 100 bits. Hyakubitsu, arigatouzaimasu. Mm -hmm. You can actually attest to it. As a person who works on masculine to feminine or feminine to masculine voices, it's much easier to go masculine to feminine because it's much harder to open up the space in the throat than close it. I see! I, I've always kind of wondered about that, Solarity, but I was never sure. I always wanted to have deeper voices. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm catching up on chat, but... Nyambasu! Hi, san! Arido arigatouzaimasu! Thank you for the raid! Otsukare sama deshita! Thank you for your hard work! Ure san, soru san! Otsukare sama deshita! Thank you for your hard work as well! How was the rest of Unrailed? Nyambasu, minasan! Mm -hmm. I'm gonna catch up on all the chat, don't worry. But <laughs> Nyonpasu Ure-san. Bunk. Pasa clap. Pachi pachi. The Ison raid. Welcome in, Oliver. Amaneko san Nyonpasu. Welcome, raiders. Mejiro san. Dance, dance. JA. Mambo, mambo. Miali Nyonpasu again. Mambo, mambo. Anui san Nyonpasu. Huh? Miyaro san Nyonpasu. Gangu san Nyonpasu. Mambo, mambo. Ji-san, Nyampasu again. Obukafi-san, dance, dance. Atariya-san, Nyampasu. Soto-san, Nyampasu. Mambo, mambo. Welcome in, friends. Pairusu-san, Nyampasu. Gaming. Karin-san, dance, dance. Obukafi-san, roll, roll. Welcome in, everyone. Mina-san, Irishai. Oh, we had a fun time with Ai-san and Soto-san and Ude-san. For those who don't know Aisan, Sorosan, and Urisan, please check out my friends. Aisan and Urisan and Sorosan were playing Unreal together in a collaboration today. They were building railroads so that their train could reach the destination. There may have been a mishap with a couple of dynamites. Maybe. 
ニャンパスアイさんぬぬんぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺらぺら i s a n is a Japanese streamer who actually can speak multiple languages.、Um, she studied and speaks、uh, very fluently in Spanish, and she's been practicing、uh, some German and、um, a few others. I know I heard her trying out Italian as well. But yes, i s a n likes to do just chatting for the first half of her stream, and then she'll go play a game or do some blender modeling. She also Is a really big fan of the Yakuza series. And if you don't know, Ai san's husband o is Majima san. Yes. <laughs> and Sora san is an android in Japan who also can speak multiple languages, including English and、uh, some French.、Um, oh, yes, Ai san speaks French,、um, English as well. <laughs> She can do Japanese, English, and, and、um, Spanish. And、uh, Sora san likes to play a lot of different games. Recently, some Mario and Donkey Kong. And Ure san is also a Japanese streamer who does a lot of beautiful artwork. And she has a very, very cozy voice. I like to practice my Japanese listening comprehension and speaking with her because I learn a lot when I, I converse with her in Japanese. But yes, please check them all out. Give them lots of love. How are you doing today? How goes Paper Mario? It's going pretty well. We just finished a difficult battle with the dojo master, and now I'm going back to the Goomba village to see if there's any hidden treasures or other side quests there before we continue in chapter 5. Extreme was so hard. I saw, I believe you can do it. You, you clear games like Sekiro. <laughs> you play those kind of games. You can do it. Majima's everyone's husband? I don't know, JD. I think i s a n is、um, number one in line. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's go play the RPG for i s a n and then I will catch up on the rest of the chat that I、uh, scroll down from. Alright, l it's for Team i s a n to celebrate her rating in. With her collaborators Udi san and Sora san, please type an exclamation point join to help out the team. May you all defeat the dragon and win i s a n an illustration. And while you all are joining, I'm gonna scroll up and、um, read the rest of chat.、Mm. So, Celerity says that、um, it's easier to、uh, go from a masculine voice to a feminine voice because it's much harder to open the space in the throat than close it. That's a specific accent in Australia. You love that one. Wait, which one, JD? <laughs> you can whisper me a silly song of,、uh, of this individual, but he isn't family friendly. That's okay. I can, I can listen to it if you want to whisper it to me, Phoenix. I'd be curious to hear. I love listening to other people's accents.、Mm. The Brisbane accent. Hmm. Brisbane. But Possum sang for charity. That is true. Possum raised $850 with his garbage gang to celebrate、uh, and support、um, the <laughs> Forget Cancer, the Forget Cancer organization. <laughs> Fire of the Bits Band. <laughs> okay, I think I caught up with everybody. Whoosh. Majima is your husband, Possum. No way. He's practically the best man ever. Majima? He is very strong. Squish, squish, squish. Squish, squish. Brisbane's where everything in question is how you. Wait. Brisbane, where everything's a question is how you were told the accent sounds. Oh, I see. But that's the one you like, JD? Yeah, isn't that amazing, Phoenix? So many cool people do so many cool things.
Majima is everywhere. <laughs> but Aisan, Majima is your husband, all right? Nobody else's. <laughs> Alrighty, last call. Please type an exclamation point join to help out Team Aisan. Yes, Uri-san. Ora, ora. Otsukai-sama-deshita. Charity stream is a goal. Yeah, it'd be lovely to do one, too. Ora, ora, Gamu-san. Alrighty. Mina-san. Ganbarimasu. Let's do our best, everyone, for Team Ai-san. There's the dragon. Here's Team Ai-san, led by Possum, Gemini, and Sora-san. Those are Holly's cats. They're not your average bogs. And the rocks is blast. Big damage. Aurora. And the Leafeon explosion. Big damage. Oh my. Aurora. Please type an exclamation point blast to help the team with their final strike. Aurora. There goes Ahanoi san blessing the team. Big damage. Oh my. <laughs> it was enough damage. Congratulations, Aisan. Let's see what you win. Aisan, you won a mini doodle! Omerito gozaimasu! And congratulations to Possum, now level 8! GG! Oh my goodness! And Gemini, now level 19! Congratulations! You did it! Yeah! <laughs> cheer, cheer, cheer! And Ahanoi-san, now level 9! This time it was not Ahanoi-san's fault! The Aisan raid! Welcome in, Zeru! You did it. <laughs> I saw. <laughs> or <laughs> Ahanoi san, yes. <laughs> wow, yes. The first win. The first dub of the day, yes. Congratulations again, everyone, for helping out Team I san. And I san, Omerito gozaimasu. Congratulations on the win. Big win, yes. <laughs> you have to think about Majima san's happiness. <laughs> How very thoughtful. So many level buffs, so many wins, yes! Big win, applause! Omerito gozaimasu! Again, thank you all for helping out Team Aisan! And Aisan, thank you again for the raid! Otsukari sama deshita! <laughs> thank you for your hard work with Uri-san and Sora-san! Thank you! Oof. <laughs> and yes, for anyone new coming in, welcome in! My name is Alan. Watashi wa Arin desu. And I'm a blue dog. Watashi wa Aoinu desu. I also like to voice act. Koi no Ei ga suki desu. And today we're playing some Paper Mario. We are... Ooh! We're looking for treasures. Um... And I... Think there might be some over here. We are about, uh, maybe halfway through the game, since there are seven stars and we need to collect, uh, three more, I think? Yes. Three more. Thank you for the RPG. Aisan, thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. Well done, Team Aisan. Pachi pachi. Yes. Clap, clap, clap. <laughs> And yes, for anyone who um, may not have seen in our Discord, I'd really appreciate if you can uh, help us in our goal. We are trying to raise our um, average viewer count to 75 for a partner push. So if you would be so kind to um, click on the live notification avatar, the icon, twice, Supposedly this will help, uh, help us in our goal to increase our average viewer count. Are there hidden blocks? Yes, JD, there are hidden blocks that you can see, um, with the help of Watt, our little sun right here. Um, I'm looking around for them. You also might have seen the little notification pop above Mario's head that had a little alert sound and that lets me know there's a a um shard uh 
a star piece shard on the floor that I can try to find. Yeah, Phoenix, we're trying. <laughs> Also, raiders refresh. The viewer count will go down, but Twitch doesn't count raiders for partner, and doing so will bring you in as a new viewer. So you'll be counted for the total when it comes back up. I think you're right, Celerity. Thank you. Um, if you're on the browser, they suggest you remove the refer tag in the HTML bar. But if you are on mobile, and probably on browser, it's probably easier for you to just click on the, um, the profile image twice. You still need to throw a few mods into a volcano to please the, par the partner gods. No! Jade, that's not what you told me. You told me if I just start every every stream with out of their partners. We're back with another cozy stream. You said if I said those words, then we'll get it for sure. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> Just say thank you to your service. <laughs> Jay, please. Celerity is a college student. They're smart. You trust them. Me too. They go to the College of Celestial Causality with all the mysterious happenings. Mm. Have you done that? You keep missing the start. Maybe. <laughs> You know why? Because you start streaming at 1 a.m. Jay, I'm sorry. It'll probably be changing soon with the um, change in the daylight savings time. You often have to manually find and raid the target channels. Mm. Yes, thank you all for the support. It's very, very helpful. We are trending very steadily to that goal. Oh, I should talk to Goombaria. Ah, uh, this is old. Oh, I don't think he said that to me before. Let me get some water and I'll read his line. <laughs> I love the way he looks, he's so cute. Howdy, Mario. How was my son Goombario doing? Hey, by the way, I named the lad after you, Mario. I always wanted my son to grow up to be as strong like you. He went a little overboard. Now he's way too energetic. Ha 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 ha. Oh, Chuck Quizmo. Okay, we gotta save. Chuck Quizmo is here. I need Lumbaria with me. This guy's a genius. There's no doubt in my mind you'll get it, Alan. You think you speak for all when you're a fantastic MC and wonderful voice actor? You're magnetic and it won't be long until partner comes to you. Celerity, thank you. I really, really appreciate the kind words and also your presence. Ah! <laughs> thank you, Celerity. And then, better, better. Do, do, do. It's time for me to help you beat dragons and win some art. <laughs> Tui, thank you for the eight months. Alrighty, let me cue that up for you. <laughs> and then we'll go talk to Chuck Quizmo. Thank you for the eight months, Tui. Cheer party, cheer. Cheer party, cheer. Cheer party, cheer. Eight whole orbs. There is no orb. There are no orbs.
Alrighty, this is for Team Tui. To celebrate him supporting our channel for eight months, please type an exclamation point join to help out the team. May you all defeat the dragon and win an illustration for Tui. Supporting the orbs? No, Tui, no! Squish, squish, squish. Nice join. Good join. Squish, squish. Alrighty, last call. This is again for Team Tui to celebrate Tui for supporting our channel for eight months. Please type an exclamation point join to help out the team. Squish, squish, squish. Speaking of art, I was thinking maybe next week we'll try to wrap up um, Hebodeke 2, and if we wrap it up early, we could probably do another art stream. <laughs> we can do a nice little cozy art stream and watch a bunch of fish. Squish, squish, squish. You've never seen an anime? Really? Somehow I feel like you would have watched one. Minasan gambarimas. Let's do our best, everyone. You've never seen a movie either. Okay, hold up, Tui. <laughs> hold up, Tui. That's not true. I'm pretty sure you've seen a movie. Nice join. Let's do our best. There's the dragon, Aurora. Here's Team Tui, led by Oliver, Celerity, and Gamu. There goes the rhythm blast. Big damage. You haven't seen anime either. There's Uri-san. She's the best looking pup here. Aurora. And leafy on. They're the best looking pup here. Aurora. Please type an exclamation point blast to help the team with their final strike. Yes, the paladin's right there. Get him, Celerity. <laughs> Bless. There's Sora-san. Blessing the team. Big damage! Big damage with the final strike. But not quite enough. Everyone, thank you for helping out Team Tui. And Tui, thank you again for the eight months. I really appreciate that. Retreat! <laughs> um papa. Oh no, not enough um papa. But Celerity is down level three. Congratulations, Celerity. And let's see, who else might be leveling up? Experience points have now been distributed. We lost, but we never lose. The dragon's name isn't Trogdor. <laughs> the Burninator. <laughs> You're gonna check the script. Oof. <laughs> it says we get a second shot. Wait, it does? Hold up, J.A. Send me that paper. I need to look at it. Send me that paper. I need to see. <laughs> Oliver, no! You were screaming! <laughs> you, you were screaming as you ran away. <laughs> Going to bed. See you later. Phoenix, thank you for hanging out. Please rest well and have a wonderful rest of your evening. Oyasumi, good night. Dusty, no! <laughs> what are those? <laughs> I don't know. J.A. didn't give me this paper. I can't read it to see if it's true. Goombario, come here. I'm sure you're working hard. Let me just get that gunk off your face. Hold still. Come on, Mom, quit it. <laughs> you ever had that? When a loved one will, like... <laughs> they'll, they'll, um, I guess, uh... Uh... Lem you on the face or something, you know? To be like, oh, you got something there. <laughs> I guess for humans, they probably lick their thumb and then, you know, rub your face. Alright, Chuck Quizmo, let's go. I brought my smartest guy with me. Kawiz is everyone's favorite quiz master, Chuck Quizmo. 
You've had that happen with your cat. <laughs> you sent me the paper. Hold up. <laughs> it could go his time, though. <laughs> Alright, let me see this paper. Hmm. I don't know. I don't see a paper right beneath me. It could almost look like the, um... Let's see. Let me see the paper. Alright, I'm looking at it. I guess it does say there's a second chance. Really? Hold on, let me see that again. Mm, I, I guess it does. I guess there's a second chance. Wow. I didn't see... Who wrote this paper? I don't remember that in the fine print. Alright, well... The proof is in the pudding, so I guess we get one more shot for Tui. Because J.A. saw the fine print. But only if Tui says yes. If Tui says yes, then okay. <laughs> exactly. Consent is important. Mm -hmm. So we will wait until we hear back. A whiz! It's everyone's favorite quiz master, Chuck Quizmo! Wanna try the quiz? Oh, uh, yes. Then let's go to the question! Question! What will you receive when you get the right answer in a quiz? It's me! It's me! Star piece. Correct! Congratulations! Here's your star piece! Yay! You've correctly answered 10 questions so far. Good luck next time! Well, well. So long, farewell, till we meet again. Goodbye, Chuck Quizmo. That was easy. That one was. I was actually surprised. They said to come back here in the letter. They were like, please come back. We miss you. <laughs> yes, Dusty. Ooh! There's something here. Nice. You thought that was about to go Sound of Music, really? <laughs> nice! We got something. Oh, see? See this? This is why we have Watt. She just found this block for us. We can't see it otherwise. You got the Repel Gel. Make Smile transparent and invulnerable for a short time. Yeah, that was cool! <laughs> A fun item. Very useful. <laughs> Alright, I guess we got everything here. I guess we can go to the pier now. You just realized, imagine holding a bloodhound puppy 
Like that to find something. Aww. They'd be so cute. Like droopy. You got the shooting star. Cool. <laughs> Alrighty, we'll see you in a bit, JD. Squish, squish. Yes, Udi san. Oh no, I ran into this. Welcome back, JD. Squish, squish, squish. The curry bell. You know, I don't think I used um Watt in our our little home here. Here. I don't think there's other things to do. <laughs> That's a lot of Karibo, yes. The Karibo, yes. Let's head over to the pier. <laughs> the Koopa, probably. This is a blooper. Bloopers lurk in the dank pools of Toe Town Tunnels. Max HP 30. Attack power 3. Defense power 0. They seem pretty unremarkable. Although, you have to wonder how they float in the air like that. Interesting. Mm 
<laughs> Magic. Ouch. Science? Magical science. <laughs> Witchcraft. Ooh. I'll, I guess I'll toss this. I forgot to use Gambara. Let's see. Disgusting flows of water. Dripping ceilings? Yup, it's gross down here. Can we leave now? I... I'm really uncomfortable. <laughs> Anger and determination? We're in Toe Town Tunnels. Ew. I wonder what's making the water drip from up there. At best, I guess this place could be called Damp. Although, dank is more like it. Ah, Toe Down Tunnels. Visited scenic, filthy streams that lead to who knows where. <laughs> the little buddy. Calamari, anyone? Ooh, yum, yum. Float to win. Calamari is so good. Yes. It's spectacularly disgusting. Come stay a while. If you're not totally grossed out by the first night, you'll stay for free. <laughs> Seems like there's a lot of stuff I missed in here. Squids are the butterfly of the ocean. <laughs> they are very cool. He's a snarky fella. He is. Um, I'll keep going left and I'll go into these little things. Blasto, welcome in. That's a strange platform. Ow. <laughs> Dusty, please. <laughs> you deserve every bit. Dusty, thank you for the 100 bits. Yakubitsu, arigatasaimasu. Thank you, Dusty. <laughs> Gonna be dozing off to the nice vibes. Enjoy the paper RPG. Celerity, thank you again. And thank you for lurking. It's always good to see you. Take care, Celerity. Enjoy your lurk. And <laughs> show love. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ow! <laughs> so, so, thank you. Thank you for 100 bits. Yakubitsu, arigatasaimasu. Thank you, so, so. Namum, paravaro. I see. Thank you. <laughs> You're all good. Thank you. You're so sweet. Cheer party, cheer. Bunk. Bunk. Cheer party, cheer. Bunk. <laughs> Happy snoozing. Cheer party cheer. The squid is just good eating altogether. It is. You have to be careful though. If you get the, um, I guess, whole squid. They have these little beaks. And um, it's interesting. They have, um, I think their spine is called a quill. So you have to pull that out too. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about, right, So-So? It's a very interesting looking, um, uh, I don't know if it's cartilage or what it is. It's very interesting. It is very easy to dissemble a squid, though. Yeah, for the most part. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I get scared, though, of the, the beaks. Do you spend your days removing spines? No, that's a pamps thing. <laughs> I don't do that. Pet, pet, pet. That's a strange platform. What do you think will happen if we climb on board? Are you worried about whether the platform will end up? Are you worried about where the platform will end up? 
That's never stopped you before. Oh my goodness, what are those things? Hello. Spite Gloomba. This is a Spite Gloomba. They're Spite Goombas who live in the Toe Town Tunnels. Max HP 7, Attack Power 3, Defense Power 0. Be careful the spiked hats they wear. It'll definitely hurt you if you jump on them. The beak and the crunchy membrane. Wait, do you eat those? I always thought you had to pull those out. You like people who don't like the tentacles because then you get more tentacles. <laughs> but Ink's uh, squid ink pasta. I never tried that. It looks very interesting. I always kind of imagine it'd be, um, I don't know how to describe the taste, but, uh, kind of, um, not bitter, but kind of? Mm -hmm. This is a Gloomba. Gloombas are nasty Goombas who live in the Toe Town Tunnels. Max HP 7, Attack Power 2, Defense Power 0. They're stronger than ordinary Goombas, but you can take them. Mm -hmm. Oh, not lucky with the encoding. Oh no, most unfortunate. Yes, thank you all for being here. It's very unique. I, I, I wonder, somehow I, I, I want to say it'd be kind of pasty, but I don't know. Did you up your bit rate or anything that is affecting you? No, it's um it's just a lottery system with Twitch. So every now and then we get the encoding. Um as an affiliate, we're not guaranteed uh multiple transcode options. We could try to use a lower picture quality, but I'm kind of fastidious that I want the best I can provide. only at 10 EP today. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Aurora. I know some people try to, um, uh, try to make the system work in their favor by restarting stream over and over, but, um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Actually, let's not go this way. Let's go over here first. Aurora. See, I messed that up. You're doing great, though. Thank you, Chi. <laughs> footy footy, thank you. 
I do know it's it's not um, the optimal experience for people who are on mobile, though. But I do hope that, um, you know, if and when we achieve partner, that will no longer be an issue. Thank you for providing the best you can. Also, so thank you. Oh my, there's a lot of new things here. Thank you. I wanted to do a, a tattle, but I don't want to get hurt since we're a little low on HP. This is a pair of Gloomba. Pair of Gloombas are nasty winged Gloombas who make their home in the Toad Town tunnels. <laughs> It's surprised you wouldn't have them, to be honest. You guess we're affiliates. It really is an RNG pool and not a hierarchy of availability. Um, they say it's the latter. Well, I guess they say it's um, not necessarily a hierarchy. They say, yeah, it's just RNG based on availability. But I have, um, again, I've heard other uh, people who stream. They will sometimes just keep restarting stream till they get it. So, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how that works. I do think it's probably just really RNG heavy base. Max HP 7, attack power 2, defense power 0. Yeah, hard the cards, exactly. <laughs> I think we just probably been really lucky in the past. Um, perhaps. Dance, dance, Udi san. Just like Para Gloombas. Or Goombas. Just like Paragoombas, Paragloombas lose their wings when attacked. Then, they fall and become Gloombas. Dance, dance, gee. Dance, dance, so-so. You have no complaints? So everything is nice. Oh, the Clay Star, thank you. I, I think it's, um... I know I don't notice it on other people's streams, but I also uh, view on the browser. But I, I do know for those on mobile, it's um, not the best experience. Tap tap, the bubbles are tap tap. The cool air is certainly nice and refreshing, but it's too dark. It smells awful, and I have a bad feeling about this place. Let's move. You got the Power Smash badge. Hammer is an enemy using lots of attack power. Hmm. Yes, thank you all for being here, though. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Oopsie. Really quick though, it is um, a little over time for me to take my dogs out so they can do their business as well as get fed. So I'm gonna go take a quick BRB so that I can get them fed and let them do their business. I'll be right back though. Please take this moment to get up and walk around, go stretch, or get yourself a snack or beverage of your choice. I will see you very soon.
and take care of your patients. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okairunasai, <laughs> Uri san, arigatasaimas. Tadaima, I returned. Mm -hmm. Ah, bots on today. Excellent. Oh my. Hey, Pizza Pop, Chat, and Gene. Tori, you're cute. <laughs> Welcome in, Tori. How are you doing? This is a strange, dark place. Who'd think that a place like this could exist beneath lovely old Toad Town? Hmm. The pipe there is interesting. I really don't like the foul water dripping on me. Ugh, that one hit the back of my neck. Ugh, where's it dripping from? Thank you for the head pads, D-Man. Thank you. <laughs> Very tired. Just got home from your annual training from work. Oh, I hope the training went okay. charming game, isn't it? Hmm, I don't have this power, apparently. This one, 1,000 Year Door? Yeah, 1,000 Year Door. I want to play that one again. That's such an awesome, awesome game. There's a scene in there I'd love to show with you all, and share with you all, because uh, I think it's just so sweet. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited for the remaster. Yeah. Soon, right? I think. Oh, this will be a lot easier to travel. Still a 
little save and uh, find the code house. Oh, well, well. Ooh, I missed something here. You said 2024, no actual release date. Oh, it is a mystery to us. Well, hopefully soon. It'd be, it would be really cool. is a great character. Yeah, they're super cool. I feel like um, the character in that game really shines through. They're super awesome. Yeah, remaster coming hopefully soon. D-Man is right. The, um, I think it was Nintendo Direct? There was some Nintendo news that said they were going to do a remaster of Thousand Year Door. Oopsie. Five months ago. Yeah, yeah. I totally missed the Toad Town house. Hey, Chuck Quizmo. Oh, it's right here. A whiz! It's everyone's favorite quiz master, Chuck Quizmo. Wanna try the quiz? Yes, please. Then let's go to the question. Question. What is the name of the smart toad living in Toad Town? Uh, probably Rusty. Smarty would have been funny too. Correct. Congratulations. Here's your star piece. You got the star piece. You've correctly answered 11 questions so far. Good luck next time. Well, well. So long. Farewell. Till we meet again. Party, party, party. Party, party, party. We can't wait. Yeah, it'll be really cool. Once it releases, then a lot of people can play it. Because I still think quite a few people haven't played it before. and your door in this game are similar to me in that I don't quite remember all the details. I just remember the parts I liked. <laughs> the parts that were difficult and the parts I liked. Thousand your door is so expensive too if you try to get it on GameCube. Yeah? I'm lucky I still have my copy. I wanted to play that one. Oops, sorry. Sorry. Baby's being very noisy. No word luck. You came at the perfect time, young man. Could you see your way to doing me another favor? If you try to get it now, people are charging at least, at least $80. Oh my. Wait, is that like loose or complete in box? $80 for complete in box, like, oh my goodness, loose. I mean, $80 for complete in box is still pretty expensive, but I could kind of see why. Kinda. Kinda. But loose, oh my. No, no, no. That's up there with a like, rule of rose. Kind of. Not really. <laughs> rule of rose is crazy. Sealed and go for more. It's silly. Yeah. 
It's also really sad too that like uh um <laughs> you know you, you might be able to like afford one of these but then but then there's no guarantee they'll always play, right? <laughs> Depending on the wear and tear and just natural aging. You wish, I know so so. I had to save a pretty penny for Rule of Rose. That thing was probably probably the biggest thing that dented my wallet many years ago. I actually don't know what it's going for now. Probably like, I don't know, probably a thousand dollars or something. It's like crazy. So sad. I mean, that's how I feel about like, <laughs> like Silent Hill 2. I want to get that one, you know, complete in box too, but that one's like pretty ridiculous price too. It's pushing up there. No. I was going to say, remember when it used to be like $400? <laughs> so affordable, oh boy. 600 plus, oh my. I think it was going for like 800 at one point. Oh, how very kind of you. Oh, I guess the younger generation isn't so bad after all. That's the same for Kasui Kudin too. You're lucky you got that one complete in box. Oh man, good on you. Two, do I have two? I don't think so. I think the one I have is three. Um, it features uh, a general, I think, named Chris. She seems really cool. And then I think like a um, a little younger dude um, who has cool clothing. I think he lives in a little tribe. And I think there's a thief or something. I don't. I might be making the thief thing up. I might be confusing that with um, Wild Arms. You have a very, very vivid memory of many days going, It's $300. I'm gonna wait for a lucky deal. Me too, so-so. It's so true. So, so true. I remember thinking, Ah, uh, that game's going for $15? No way. It's gonna go down in price. $10 or $5 bucket bin. Sure enough. Ten years later. Oh my gosh, it's worth like $500. What happened? And why is this copy like so poorly taken care of? $500 for this poorly taken care of copy. I feel like this old turtle. Oh, back in my day, we used to get the games for like $40. Sometimes they were $30. It was still very expensive, but much more reasonable than this $600 nonsense. Near mint. <laughs> so, so, near mint. Look at it. Is that a hairball? <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> Three is really good too. I so I don't know much about it because I played just a little bit of Chris's campaign. I did like maybe maybe like fifteen to thirty minutes of it. Um, I forgot why I put it down. It seemed really cool though. But I was um, much younger when I tried it out. I probably got distracted with Dot Hack to be honest. N sixty four games were still seventy dollars back in the day. It was silly. Yeah, and I don't remember. I feel like back in the day, games were like $40. $30 for like, you know, Nintendo games, like Super Nintendo maybe? I don't remember. Um, and I feel like... I feel like... Games were $40. I remember when they started going to 50 I was like, what the heck, 50 And then when it went to 60 I was like, what the heck, 60 And then it went to 70 and 80 and I'm like, what the heck? 90? <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I, they, always, <laughs> they always surprise me now. Alright then, young fella. I don't usually ask for favors, but... I must tell you, there's quite a racket coming from next door. It's far too loud. Say, you and Cooper are friends, no? Well, it's his house, and he should keep his guests from raising a ruckus. I can't sleep with all the noise. Can you go over there and complain for me? Just tell them to put a lid on it. <laughs> put a lid on it. Yeah, Dot Hack. I love Dot Hack, D-Man. But I must confess, I never finished the, um, 
the fourth game in the quadrilogy, the original quadrilogy. I think I got really close, but there's a section where you need to um, collect a certain item, some cores, and uh, the cores were very difficult for me to collect. Around 50-ish is what you remember. Yeah, 50 is where it kind of stabilized, and then it started going crazy now, like 70. Back in the good old days when games used to be $40. Super Nintendo games at $40? You would have loved to be where I was. You bought Final Fantasy VI and Chrono Trigger for $100 each plus tax? Oh my. That's too much money, softcore gamer. Too much money. <laughs> each? $100 each? Oh my. Seto-san, Yonpasu, welcome in. Man, $100. Holy moly. I swear they are like... 40. Maybe I thought they were close to 30 because... I shared this before, but I... I grew up as a military brat, is what the term is called. A military dependent. And... You can go to the post exchange, right? It's like a special store. And... It's tax free. And if you get good grades, they give you coupons for deals off electronics, including video games. And boy, you better believe I got good grades, because I wanted the $20 coupon. I wanted the $10 coupon. I got those good grades. Yeah, it was cool. And then you can go to Chuck E. Cheese with your good grades. <laughs> and get tokens! <laughs> We didn't go to Chuck E. Cheese very often, though. We had memory cards back then and we liked it! Yeah, I like my memory cards! Especially when I got to use little stickers and tell myself what's on each memory card. Chuck E. Cheese! Yeah, Chuck E. Cheese! With the... I always forget if it's called Cyclone or Twister. I think it's called Cyclone. Anyway, you know, the machines that give you lots of tickets so you can buy the lava lamp. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> the lava lamp. I saved up for a disco ball. <laughs> a plug-in disco ball. <laughs> so I could have all the different colors in my room. Woo! Go as soon as you can. I'm at the end of my rope. Tell me when to quiet down. I have your word. Yes, yes, the lava lamp. The coin flip, the tokens. U.S. retail is definitely in the $60 to $70 range, regular price. Canadian dollar equivalents push this up to $80 to $100 range. Can you easily check stuff like old Sears wish books to see the prices? Oh, I see. Yeah, maybe maybe my um, memory of it is, um, is uh, again, painted by the post-exchange, um, uh, the PX pricing and coupons. I just remember they were like $30 and $40. They're arguing in the house. I'm not going in there. They're arguing. <laughs> I had to I had to double read that, that sentence Goombario said. He's a bomb who was in jail at the Koopa Brothers Fortress. He made a home in Koopa Village. I always thought that all but bombs did was continue to blow each other up, but I guess I was wrong. <laughs> you remember that Donkey Kong 64 was seventy dollars, and that was a big deal. Donkey Kong 64 also, I remember being um, one of the few cartridges that hyped up. Um, I forget what it's called, but they they wanted you to get this special. Uh, was it a RAM extension or something? Some memory thingy for the N64. It's like a little black thingy with um, a little red thingy on top of it. You put it on there. And Majora's Mask, yeah. You had to have the expansion pass for the um, N64. Donkey Kong 64 was the original quadruple A game. I believe it. <laughs> expansion pack. Yeah, I, I remember this thing needed to be there. I see. For Majora's Mask 2, okay, I didn't know it was for both. I just remember it was a big deal for DK64. 
I also remember for Donkey Kong, I forget where I got it, but maybe Nintendo Power was offering it? You could send, I think, proof of purchase to somewhere, and they would give you a cute little uh, Donkey Kong 64 branded banana sleeve for your N64 controller. And I love that thing. It's funny, I don't really like bananas, but man, I love that little sleeve. I put that on my, my N64 controller, and it looks rad. And it's so soft, although I gotta admit it probably has <laughs> it probably has a lot of dog sweat paw on it. <laughs> dog paw sweat. <laughs> Cause I look at it, I'm like, it's a little dirty. <laughs> but it feels really nice to hold. Yeah, it's super awesome. Bombette's not here. Oh, Bombette! Oh no. They're having an argument. Shut up, shut up, shut up! The neighbors are starting to complain about your noise! Quit your belly aching! Oh, Bombette! Please don't say that! Please! Don't you care how I feel? Oh, shut up! Enough already! Stop brooding over her! Do I need to bring out Bombette to set you all straight? Oh, oops. They're actually saying different things. Oh, it's her talking. You remember hearing about, way back in the day, a subscription to Nintendo Power would also come with a free copy of Dragon Warrior. Whoa! I don't remember getting that. That must be a cool deal. I never played Dragon Warrior. I remember Nintendo Power had cool comic books inside. You got to see things like Pokemon comics and, um, uh, Legend of Zelda comics. It was cool. <laughs> Hi, Scare, and welcome in. Yeah, we're on part five. It's great. You be quiet now. It's no use yelling my name. I'm off on an adventure, doing very important things. I have enough to think about with, without your puppy love. And besides, you're not my type. I told you that before. So calm down before you blow a fuse. The Nintendo Power Link to the past comic was great, wasn't it? It was so cool looking. I remember, um, they have like, um, there's a Mario comic book too. I really adored watch, um, reading. Um, in the very back of the comic, they also had a special comic section for Wario. Anyway, I just remember there was like this section where Princ uh, Princess Toadstool, she, um, she cosplays as uh, Luigi and tries to save Mario and friends. It was cool. Bombette! Oh, don't! Ooh, you made her angry. I feel bad for you, but man, you talk way too much. You need to play it cool, or she'll never like you at all. I'm sure she'll come around one of these days if you can just... She said she's not interested. Nice crown, thank you. Bombette is your favorite. You like Bo too? Who's my favorite? I like Bo a lot too. Although, utility wise. Well, it's hard to say. Bo is really nice for obviously the section she comes in. Bombette can be really nice too against high defense things. I guess Watt as well. But, if I had to be honest, I use Goombario all the time, so probably Goombario. I love him. Bombette and Bo are good picks. They're super sweet. I like them. But, Goombario tells me everything. <laughs> I like hearing what he has to say. If Bo, like, came around and told me, like, Oh, look at these! So beautiful! Or whatever, you know, like, I'd be like, yeah! 
If Bombette talked to me a lot, I'd take her too. Mumbai was an equally perfect pick. Yeah, I do like the um, the ladies on our team. Wad is such, such a cute little one too. She's so cute. When I was younger, I used to think Paracarry was awesome, but then I realized I never use him, really. I thought he was cool because he had wings. And Cooper was blue, which I think is cool. As a young pup, I like these two a lot. But now as an older pup, I really enjoy Goombario. I thought I had to do this to settle them down. <laughs> you agree, Sozo? -so? You like Bo because of her fan whack and the way she smacks the enemy. As for Bombette, her explosive personality. Mm -hmm. I tend to look at them, um, utility-wise, but I do like their characters, like who they are. Like, I think Bo is very cool for um, how she's very independent and wants to go do things. Bombette's the same way too. I wish Watt had a little more to her. She's kind of just like, I'm captured, help me. Ding ding. Gallivanting group, guys. You're the man, Mario. Amazing! Stunning! Finally, some peace and quiet! Did those punks make a fuss? Now I can finally go back to sweet dreamland! <laughs> You're a stand-up guy for doing an old Koopa so many favors! This time, I'll give you this special gift as thanks. Don't tell anybody, though. I've got a reputation to keep. Oh, you don't have to be so polite, young fella. Take this. Oh boy, three star pieces. Oh, what luck! You came at the perfect time, young man! Alright, let's do it. <laughs> I've been hearing people talk recently. Apparently, I'm not so popular. People are actively... People are actually saying I'm cheap! The nerve! Ari, thank you for the raid. Welcome in, raiders. How was your stream? What were y'all up to? Welcome, raiders. <laughs> Thanks for stream, Ari. Good night, Ari. Hi, James. I'll play some Baldur Gate 3. Very nice. The ham raid. Welcome in. Um... Guns! Gunsling! Goonsling! Welcome in! Hi Ari! Thank you for the raid! How's Baldur's Gate 3? Welcome in raiders! Cheer party cheer! The ham raid! Yes! If y'all don't know Ari, please check her out! She is the lover of spam and the queen of ham! And she likes to play a lot of uh, western RPGs recently some Baldur's Gate 3. It's also played um, some Skyrim as well, and uh, a few others in that realm. She's super super friendly and likes to chat about a lot of uh, variety of things, and I hope you go check her out. She's very very sweet. Please check out Ari. Go give her a lot of love. And for anyone new from Ari, welcome in. My name is Alvin. I'm a blue healer, and I like to voice act. Today, we are playing Paper Mario, and um, I'm doing a little bit of side questing before we continue into Chapter 5. You're too kind. You're kind, Ari. Hope you had a fun time with Baldur's Gate 3. You love this game? Baldur's Gate 3 or Paper Mario? Both? Both. Both? <laughs> Both? <laughs> Both games? <laughs> I'm thinking like that, that, um, a little, little child. Why not both? <laughs> I 
If y'all wouldn't mind, we're trying to push Alan to partner. If you can click on the portrait to refresh a couple times and remove the rain tag, we'd appreciate it a lot. Thank you, Chi. Yes, it's true. We're trying to go for partner, and I hope that you will be able to help us. Why not both? <laughs> the other both thing I think about is, um, um, the, uh, what's that movie again? The Road to El Dorado. And they're like, um, both. Yes, both. <laughs> Ari, would you like to play the hour RPG? Is the tag gone? Um, if you're on the browser, you should be able to look in the HTML bar section. And if it doesn't say refer equals raid, it should be fine. If you're on mobile, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, um, Tori, if you can give that, um, I'm sure I know what the link is, but if you can give it to Chi or one of the mods or so, so that would be able to be helpful. Yes, thank you. Yeah, clicking that should help. Thank you. You want to see the dragon? Of course you do. <laughs> Let's do it. One moment. Alrighty now, please type an exclamation point join to help out the team. May you all defeat the dragon and win Ari an illustration. This is again to celebrate Ari for reading in. And also, if you join now, Ari will offer you a free can of spam. Everyone in Ari's army always gets spam. Oh my goodness, and she, thank you. Thank you for gifting a sub to Ari. Please enjoy the emotes. Look, the spam. <laughs> you love spam. Oh my gosh. JD, you gotta check out Ari. Oh my goodness, so so. <laughs> I, I owe you a bonk. <laughs> thank you for the 100 bits, so so. You're so kind. Thank you. And thank you again, Chi, for gifting a sub to Ari. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> nice join. Good join. Again, this is for Team Ari to celebrate her rating in. Please type an exclamation point join to help out the team. <laughs> I don't think that's the way it was working, Sozo. -so. <laughs> the Chi Bless. Alrighty, last call. Please type an exclamation point join to help out Team Ari. Also, Chi, did you want to play too? Let's do our best, everyone. Nice join. Yes? Alright, we'll play right after. There's the dragon. Here's Team Ari, led by Miyato-san, Fuzzy, and a cutie. There goes the Roxas Blast. And the Rico Nut. Nut. And the Roxas Blast again. Aurora. Big damage. Please type an exclamation point blast to help the team with their final strike. Wait, that's D-Man. D-Man's in the back. <laughs> there goes so Red Bot. Blessing the team. Oh, big damage. But not quite enough. Everyone, thank you for helping out Team Ari. Ari, thank you again for the raid. I really appreciate that. I'm glad you're having a lot of fun playing Baldur's Gate 3. And that you also enjoy Paper Mario, too. <laughs> Thank you. The dragon lived. But wait, one more. Congratulations to D-Man, now level 3. And a Solaroid bot, now level 33. The dragon wanted more spam. GG. GG. One moment. Alrighty, this is for Team Chi to celebrate Chi for gifting a sub to the Pizza Pops. Please type an exclamation point join to help out the team. May you all defeat the dragon and win Chi an illustration. Dance, dance, dance. Squish, squish, squish. 
scam じゃないです。Not scam, a s h i s a n p e t p e t p e t r o l l r o l l r o l l r o l l r o l l Alrighty, last call. Please type an exclamation point join to help out Team Chi. Go, Night Chi! Go! Squish, roll, squish, roll, squish, roll. Jam, 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 roll, roll, roll. Roll, 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 roll. roll, roll. Dance, dance, dance. Alrighty, Mina san, g a m b a r i m a s Let's do our best, everyone. There's the dragon. Here's Team Chi, led by a cutie. We got Sori Bot, and then a cutie. There's Sephira. They have the best looking pup here. There goes the leafy on explosion. Critical hit. Punch, punch. Orora. And Rico, they're not your average fogs. Oh, it's you, Tori. That's you. In the back. Please type an exclamation point blast to help the team with their final strike. Sometimes it's hard for me to see because the screen's a little small for me. There goes Chi, blessing the team. Big damage! But not quite enough. Everyone, thank you for helping out Team Chi. And Chi, thank you for your kindness and generosity and gifting us some. I appreciate it, thank you. <laughs> Yaru san, eh. <Hey. laughs> oh, Yuri san was there. Yuri san is down level. Six. Congratulations! Ah! Tori is very close to leveling up. One more experience needed. GG. Nice fight. Kita! <laughs> Oof. GG. GG. I've been hearing people talk recently. Apparently, I'm not so popular. People are actually saying I'm cheap. The nerve! You fought for Chi. You feel happy because you were able to protect Chi. You did, Tori. Chi was able to successfully flee. <laughs> A long time ago, I used to be like you, and. And then. You know.、Uh, Can you believe? So I said, and then, you know, completely unfair and so very rude, despite my. And finally, hey, are you listening to me? <laughs> They were just auto advancing, it's so hardcore. A long time ago, I used to be like you. <laughs> I really appreciate this game allows you to backtrack and read the, the dialogue. I wish more games had this as a default. It's nice. <laughs> this is you running away. <laughs> hey, are you listening to me? Well, the upshot is I don't really need any help. Except. You know all those boos living in Boo Mansion? Well, one of them has an old photo of mine. So, well, I'd like you to ask them if they'd give it back. And if you don't mind, could you hurry up about it? You promise you'll go? Okay. <laughs> Hopefully, this one goes to the booze. No! Hmm. Did I heal? Let's go do a little heal and save really quick.
said I was healthy, but I'll just do this again. We can explore the right side of this place. It also is down here too. Oh, a sea point. You know, but even though these tunnels have many sections, you can always count on one thing. Filthy, stinking water. Would it be too much to ask to get out of here before the stench knocks me out? Seriously, I'm about to wig out. A <laughs> wig out. <laughs> I meant to do the jump earlier. Mm. I wasn't sure if it would damage him, um, the enemy, and then I would just take the penalty, but I guess I don't do any damage. The localization is top notch. Yeah, this game has a lot of fun dialogue. Also, welcome in something eels. I hope you're doing well. Ugh. I wonder where this filthy water is going. This better not drain into the sea or the river. I may have to alert the Goomba Environmental Board. <laughs> Electro blooper? Hmm. This is an electro blooper. Electro bloopers are electro charged. Max HP 50, attack power 4, defense power 0. A bit of advice. When they're emitting electricity, it'd be a smart move to avoid contact with them. If you can manage to damage them while they're emitting electricity, they'll go back to normal. Hmm. Their attack power when they're emitting electricity is 6. Let's try to be careful. What do you say? Uh, that's concerning. Mm 
Oh, I took out the charge. Oops. really quick. works. Green power has gone down. Sweet. Ouch. We can use the Thunderbolt. What does this do? Touch him, apparently. That hurt. Thank you for the hydrate and the head pets. Gumbari <laughs> almost finished him with all the um the charges he had stacked. The Shrink Stomp Badge. If it works, the enemy shrinks. Its attack power decreases. Hmm. 
Uh, I think this is a sewer. You know, the Toad Town sewer. Under Toad Town. What am I saying? You know, you're a plumber after all. <laughs> oh, this is probably the pipe up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, gross. I've never seen so much sewage in my life. Ew. Floating garbage, too. Talk about disgusting. Nice find, thank you. <laughs> oh, he got back up quick. Dark Koopa. This is a Dark Koopa. Dark Koopas are Koopa Troopas who live in the Toe Town Tunnels. They're known for causing dizziness. Max HP 8, Attack Power 3, Defense Power 2. Be extra careful when you see them grin, because that means they're getting ready to do their dizzy attack. <laughs> that Koopa is cool. He does have the cool shades on, huh? I like his little um, spiked collar, too. The purple is really nice, too. Their defense power is zero when they're turned over, so you should use jump attacks. Yeah, cool. Oh, I jumped too late. Man, did that hurt? Hmm. Go Scholar. Got me good. spend a few turns trying to recover ourselves. I should have probably knocked him over. That would have been smarter. I'll purposely miss it. There we go. Then I can try to recharge my focus. push a button though.
Mm, even more. Hmm. I'm trying to knock over quite a few of them. I think that should help. Although I do think I should get rid of one. Oops, that's not good. Hey Waffles, welcome in. How are you? <laughs> Thank you for the head pets and the hydrate. was long but not bad. How are you? I'm doing well too. I'm glad that work wasn't bad. I hope that um, you get to relax now after a hard day at work. We need to be here. Sweet. Hey, what can I do? What can I boo for you? An errand for Koopa Coot, huh? Too bad for you. How was your stream? Dani-san? Dani-san no haishin wa todashita ka? Nyanpasu again, Imachin-san. Sora-san nyanpasu again. Chi-san nyanpasu again. Akio-san nyanpasu. Pependa nyanpasu again. Yuri-san nyanpasu. Nyanpasu again, Ai-san. Welcome in, everyone. Mina-san, Irishai, welcome in. I hope you all had a fun time with Dani-san. How was it? Doing traveling and outdoors. Ooh, I wonder where you went. If you don't know Dani-san, everyone, please check out Dani-san. He ate pizza. <laughs> please check out Dani-san. He was eating pizza. <laughs> yes, please check out Dani-san. He has been involved in the um, creation of multiple games, actually, including uh, games like Street Fighter. Yum, 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 thank you. And Dani-san also likes to do a lot of um, music streams, where you'll see him doing some DJing, and we get to listen to really cool music. Dani-san also sometimes does uh, um, real live streams where he'll go around and show the different areas in Japan. Last time we got to see Donisan visit uh, Chinatown in Japan. It looked really, really fun. But yes, please check out Donisan. Go give Donisan love and love. <laughs> pizza. <laughs> I wonder what kind of pizza Donisan was eating. Hmm. Donna pizza Donisan o tabimash ka? Yeah. I wonder what kind. It looked like my favorite one. Margarita? Oh my gosh. Margarita pizza? I love margarita pizza. Yum yum. 
And yes, for anyone new from Donnie san, welcome in. Mina san, Irishai. Watashi wa Arin das. I'm Aulin. Watashi wa Aoi ni das. I'm Blue Dog. Koi no Engi ga suki das. I like to voice act. Today we're playing Paper Mario and um, we're doing some side questing. We uh, are about to go on to chapter 5 though, but welcome in. Donnie is currently out right now. They might be able to reply. No worries. I hope that Donnie san had a fun time doing some traveling outdoors and eating pizza. That sounds like a fun time. <laughs> but Donnie san, arigatou gozaimasu. Let me see that. When Donnie san is able to reply, we'll see if he wants to play the MRPG. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Saku, saku. Oh man. Pizza sounds so good. Ooh, what can I boo for you? An errand for Koopa Koot, huh? Too bad for you. Koopa Koot's not been known to use people, you know. His motto is, if it moves, use it until it drops. <laughs> oh my goodness. He got in a couple of fights over his personality way back when. After one really bad one, he started traveling a lot. Ah, oh, thank you, Chi. Thank you. This is a photo of us when he passed through these parts. Take this and say hello to Koopa Koo for me. You got the old photo. Is this a picture of a young Koopa Koot? He wants this. Dogine, dogine. Arigato gozaimasu. Pet, pet, pet. <laughs> thank you, Aisan. Cheer, cheer, cheer. Thank you, Ashi-san. I'm sure some nasty things live down here in the dark. We should be ready to defend ourselves in case of a surprise attack. Oh. This is interesting. be able to make that jump. Let me see. Oops. Well, I won't make the jump if I don't jump. Oop. With this, you can upgrade one of your party members. Which party member do you want to upgrade? The master turbo charge to increase Mario's attack power. Do you want to upgrade this member? Yes. Wad is upgraded to super rank. Sweet. Was this one? Oh no no, this is the wrong one. 
Maybe here? I don't remember which one. Yes, here we go. Clomp! <laughs> Great clomping clubbers! I'm in awe of you, Mario! Oh, the days of my youth! Just look at me! I can't read that fast! <laughs> I'll read it again. Oh, the days of my youth! Just look at me there! So young and vibrant! I was quite the ladies' Koopa, you know! There was this utterly gorgeous, lovely, the passion, maddening, as fast as I, and I never looked back. Anyway, enough of that. Take this as a token of my thanks. <laughs> Meowly, <laughs> so passionate. <laughs> Oh, you don't have to be so polite, young fella. Take this. Oh boy, one coin. Oh, what luck! You came at the perfect time, young man. Could you see your way to doing me another favor? Yes. Oh, how very kind of you. I guess the younger generation isn't so bad after all. Well then, young fella. I don't usually ask for favors, but... I really haven't had a tasty meal in a Goomba's age. Miss Tasty's cool pasta would really hit the spot right now. Could you head to Toad Town and have her whip up a batch? Did you hear my belly grumble? I'm ravenous. Please hurry up. Please don't let me starve. I don't know what you need for this. Koopa? What the heck? Who pasta? I do know there's dried pasta. Maybe I'll try that. Get some dried pasta over here. Oopsie. Couple of these. I think we'll need the dried pasta and maybe a Koopa leaf? I'm not sure. We'll find out though. Chuckquizmo. Mm -hmm. Oh, Wiz! It's everyone's favorite quiz master, Chuckquizmo! Want to try the quiz? Yes. Then let's go to the question. Question. How many buildings are there in Koopa Village? Oh no. Six? Yes! Correct! Congratulations! Here's your star piece. Correctly answered 12 questions so far. Good luck next time. Yay, we did it. Well, well. So long. 
farewell till we meet again. <laughs> Pachi Pachi, thank you. Thank you, Chi and Meow Lee. <laughs> All right, we have two shots at seeing if we make the pasta. It's the wrong way. I want another little oink. Let's get another oink. Hopefully we get a nice cute one. They're all cute. <laughs> oh, it's so cute! Oh, it's a tiger little oink! Look at those stripes! It's so cute. Oh, I love you. <laughs> the tiger stripes. So cute. Oh, right, this is the play area. Please make dried pasta. No, oh, thank you. I shall cook with dried pasta. Yes, please. I'll whip something special up just for you, honey. It'll be fabulous. Just a moment. Oh, cute. Tra la 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 la. Here you are. This recipe's not too bad. Here, please. You got spaghetti. Spaghetti cooked by Taste Tea. Restore 6 HP and 4 FP. Come back anytime, hon. I look forward to it. All right, let's try... Oh, I wonder if you can make with spaghetti. Let's try dried pasta and the Koopa thingy. I don't think it's going to come out well, but maybe I could be wrong. Then I shall cook with dried pasta and Koopa leaf. Here you are. This recipe's not too bad. Here, please. You got the coop pasta. Nice! Special pasta made by Tasty. Restores 7 HP and 7 FP. Nice! Back anytime, hon. I look forward to it. Pinopon-san, Nyonpasu. Welcome in. Yiddishai. Hoodie hoodie. Nominating Paragoombas! You're a man of action, Mario! Woody Woody! This looks simply delicious! I swear, nobody should cook this dish besides Tasty! She's perfected the recipe! Here's a little token of my gratitude. Oh, you don't have to be so polite, young fella. Take this. Oh, it's Mario, is it? Nice weather we're having, hmm? I can't think of any favors I need at the moment. I bet I'll need one later, though. Okay, bye. <laughs> pretty pretty. <laughs> Alrighty, now we can go to the pier. I think we did all the side quests I can think about.
I'm gonna get my, um, life shroom, though. Really quick, I'm gonna go to the washroom, so I'll be right back. Please take this moment to get up and walk around and go stretch. I'll see you momentarily.
you offer your patience. Oh my goodness, Aisan, oh my goodness, thank you so much, that's very generous of you, oh my. <laughs> thank you for the five gift subs, Aisan, arigatou gozaimasu. Congratulations to Sniper, Gosh, Zoa, JD, James, and Foksu. Please enjoy the emotes, courtesy of Aisan, oh my goodness, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Min, oh, con, con, no, <laughs> I saw no, it's dynamite, no, I saw, <laughs> yes, thank you, I saw, everyone, please check out I saw, go, go, go give her a lot of love, she is an awesome streamer, and very fun to chat with, Always does uh, a little bit of chatting at the beginning of her streams, and then she likes to play really cool games or do some uh, art streams. Sometimes you might see her doing Blender work, but she plays a lot of cool games like Yakuza and um, the Sekiro series. And recently she was collaborating with our friends, Sora-san and Ude-san. Please check out Aisan, go give her a lot of love and support her too. Oof! <laughs> nice sub! Cheer, cheer, cheer! Cheer by cheer, cheer cheer cheer. Okayari, thank you, Michael. Tadaima. Aisan, <laughs> thank you. Nothing happened. I don't know. I, I think I saw something happened. <laughs> thank you so much, Aisan. That's really kind of you. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Aisan. Enjoy the emotes. Gosh, Zilla. Aisan, did you want to play the RPG? <laughs> Yes, alrighty, let's do it. We do this for Team Ison to celebrate her gifting multiple subs to the Pizza Pops. Please type in exclamation point join to help out the team. May you all defeat the dragon and win an illustration for Ison. You can play twice a day. Yes! Nice join. Good join. Again, the Super Team Ison to celebrate her and her generosity and kindness in gifting five subs. Please type an exclamation point join to help out the team. Squish, 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 squish. Awesome, somebody else. Let's do our best, everyone. Yes, thank you, Aisan. Flying in with a raid. What? <laughs> squish, squish, squish. There's the dragon. Here's Team Aisan, led by Kamu-san, Lynx, and Sora-san. Big damage! Oh my! Big damage! And the Lynx Raiders are coming in too! And the Cat Nut! Nut! <laughs> Aurora! And the Rico Mugo attack! <laughs> you got him before it was too late! Welcome in, Raiders from Lynx! Please type an exclamation point blast and help out Team Aisan! There goes JD, blessing the team. Big damage! Oh my! <laughs> oh my goodness! Congratulations, Aisan! You win a mini doodle! <laughs> oh, Manito Gozaimas! Congratulations! Wah! Again! Two for two! <laughs> and Lynx and Raiders, welcome in! Lynx, thank you for the raid! How was your stream? What are you all up to? Congratulations! Sora-san now level 41! Great work, Pizza Pops! You helped, JD! You did! Mumbo Mumbo! I 
Hi San, thank you again for gifting five subs. I really appreciate that. Thank you for your kindness and generosity. He played a bunch of different games and then introduced another person to Lethal Company. Very nice. Is there a favorite game you had? I think you were doing some Resident Evil 2 earlier, weren't you? Thank you, Aisan. Yes. <laughs> it's your own triangular-shaped scheme. Ooh. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Yes, for folks who don't know Lynx, please check him out. He likes to play a variety of games and streams every day. And he also um, has this thing called Friendly Fridays, where you can join him on the call if you get to know each other well enough and play games together, like Lethal Company and Splatoon 3 and Mario Kart. Yes, please check out Lynx. It's a very, very fun time over there. And uh, he and his community... Uh, woof! They woof! Baby, please. Excuse me. Yes, Lynx and his community like to um, watch and critique a bunch of videos as well. So, if you like that kind of stuff, please check out Lynx. Very entertaining. Mm. You're playing some Resident Evil 2, Mario Kart, and then some shoot 'em ups and Lethal Company. Ah! Very nice. <laughs> Lynx, do you also want to play the hour RPG? Cheer party, cheer. Wow, 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 wow. And for anyone new from Lynx, welcome in. My name is Alan. I'm a blue healer, and I like to voice act. Today we're playing some Paper Mario, and we're about to enter Chapter 5. Well, welcome in. Absolutely! Alrighty, let's do it. Yes, thank you, Chi. If you did just come in with a raid, I would really appreciate it if you can click the link so that you can help support us in our push to partner. That'd be very, very helpful. Yes, he does! Woohoo! The answer is always yes. <laughs> Nugbones, if I didn't know any better, I, I, thought, I would say you might be J.A. <laughs> Alrighty, this is for Team Lynx to celebrate him raiding in. Please type an exclamation point join to help out the team. May you all defeat the dragon and win Lynx an illustration. Yes, the push! Lynx, the push! Last call. This is again to celebrate Lynx raiding in. Please type an exclamation point join to help out the team. Roll, roll, roll. Squish, squish, squish. Nice join. Good join. Squish, squish. Squish, squish, squish. Squish, squish. Let's do our best, everyone, for Team Lynx. There's the dragon. Here's Team Lynx, led by Foxy, Sorry Bont, and Mushy. There goes the Foxy Nut. Nut. Aurora. And the Al Moogle attack. Please be the Mushy Nut. Close enough. <laughs> Those are cats' as cats. They're not your average bogs. Aurora. Please type an exclamation point blast to help the team with their final strike. Cheat! <laughs> there goes Cheat, blasting the team. Big damage! Big damage with the final strike. But not quite enough. Everyone, thank you for helping out Team Lynx. And Lynx, thank you again for the raid. I really appreciate it. it. Sounds like you had a lot of fun playing multiple games on Friendly Fridays. Bien. No, don't cry, Ashi-san. <laughs> it wasn't a cheat, but Chi did appear. It's true. Saku-saku, Gami-san. Experience points have now been distributed. Oof. Definitely a fun day so far. Yeah, 
When I got to see you and Nugbones, Elder Goth, and friends playing Lethal Company, it looked like a ton of fun. <laughs> the G. <laughs> so close. Yes, I saw him. Very close. GG. DG. I think I picked up what I needed. Yes. We're going to the pier right now, so let's see. What's that, Mario? You want to go to Lava Lava Island? Yeah, Lava Lava Island. I'm pretty sure that's an island south of here. There aren't many ships going to there from Toad Town. You'd better have strong arms, because you'll have to swim there. That's impossible! If there's a person who can swim there, I'll eat a fuzzy. <laughs> the local gossip is that there's something, like an island afloat at the port. Others say it's a monster. A frightful. It looks like I won't be walking there for some time. <laughs> We're gonna go to Lava Lava Island. Ooh! Really? I missed something here? That little alarm that pops up lets me know that there's a hidden star shard here. Oh, there it is. Not the star piece. Hello, Mario. Do you happen to know the owner of the bad shop that recently opened? Ralph? I met that Ralph in a different town a long, long time ago. Nice find, yeah, thank you. Back then, he was selling rare foods, not badges. I recall that he had a beautiful wife at the time. They worked so hard together to build a business up from nothing in that town. His wife doesn't seem to be here in Toad Town, though. I wonder what happened. Uh-oh. There's no use trying to fish with no caterpillar. Gar, what a fix I be in! Well, there's nothing for it but for me to find me different bait. Mm -hmm. That thing that looks like an island has been floating in the port for days. But just recently it moved right next to the pier. Brr, I wonder if one day soon it'll come ashore. Uh, Mario, could you possibly go see if it's dangerous? This is the port. Welcome! Doesn't the sound of the waves soothe your nerves? <laughs> What's up with no customers? Isn't that Shy Guy epidemic over al already? We need some good press. Maybe some attraction to draw the people to the area. I mean, times are hard. You know what I mean, dude? People need a reason to grin. Please pay modification fee. <laughs> Word is, something strange is floating at the port. Well, that's even more bad news. Now people just have another reason to stay away from here. What a fine how do you do. Hmm, Chanterelle's voice is even more sweet and tender than before. Her trials of these past days most likely helped her in a way. Yambasu! Yambasu Taco, welcome in. I didn't know I'd go back here. Wow. <laughs> so afraid bought overtime fee. Overtime fee paid. <laughs> But how do we do? 
<laughs> I was trying to think of what Mario would say. Uh, I don't know if he'd say anything. <laughs> it's a me! <laughs> I wonder if there's something hidden here. It's oddly very quiet here at the pier. Yeah, I never got up here either. Oh, hey, Colorado. Oh, this way. An odd fellow's been hanging around the port lately. All he does is stare out at the horizon and mumble about treasures and the like. Look, he's here again today! Amelia, but how do we do? Mamma mia! <laughs> He's the archaeologist, Colorado. He's famous as both a scholar and an explorer. Unfortunately, he's also renowned for his carelessness. Gonna catch up on some sleep? It's been a rough week. Have a good rest of your stream. Rooting for your push to partner, good night. Meowly, please rest well, and thank you for your hard work. I hope that, um, next week and the weeks after become even easier for you. Good night, Meowly. Oyasumi. Thank you for the well wishes. Nom nom? Pero pero. Yo me yo, sweet dreams. Nero nero nero. Good night. Yo yo. Oh yes, me. Nero nero nero. Nero nero. <laughs> yes, <laughs> sleep. Time to sleep. He's wild about treasures and ancient secrets, so he's always taking off around the world on some adventure. Mm -hmm. Who am I, you say? Why, my dear chap, I'm none other than Colorado, famed adventurer and archaeologist. I'm touring the world. And you're Mario, yes? What are you doing here? Well, I, for one, am traveling bravely to Lava Lava Island in the Southern Sea to solve a diabolical mystery. It would seem that there are ancient treasures waiting in a volcanic cave. Have a good sleep, Oyasumi. Rest well. I'm in a bit of a fix, though. No way to get there, you see. Hmm. Think now, Colorado. How to cross the sea? Me during the day. I'm gonna party all night. Me when the clock strikes 10 p.m. Nero nero. <laughs> Into the bed. That thing just came closer. Oh my. Oops, I didn't mean to, I'm sorry. I did do that, though. Ouch! Ouch! What are you doing? Oh, look at those eyes. Oh, good heavens! I was wondering what this was. It seems to be a huge tuna! <laughs> it's a huge tuna! No hurt the whale. Don't worry, Leafeon. I didn't hurt the whale. It's a huge tuna! 
The tuna, though, I don't know. Tuna. It seemed to be a huge tuna. Oh, I'm not a tuna. I'm a whale. <laughs> yeah, fish it out. It's so cute. And I have problems. It feels like something's jumping around in my belly. Tuna, you were right. <laughs> well, I say, dear Leafeon, I suppose you were right. It's a whale. Although, if we look at it a little more closely, perhaps it may have been a tuna. A giant tuna. Yeah, we're gonna fish it out, Nikoistar. It feels like something's jumping around in my belly. Ow, ow, ow. Help me. Hmm. I say. Old boy, this great tuna seems to have a bit of a bellyache. <laughs> we're gonna fish out the whale. <laughs> yes. I mean the giant tuna. We're gonna fish out the giant tuna. The great tuna, even. Mario, what say you lend the fish a hand, hmm? Uh, I told you I'm not a tuna. I'm not even a fish. That's true, they're mammals. <laughs> it's not a tuna. <laughs> that little face is so cute, Leafeon. It's not a tuna. <laughs> I told you I'm not a tuna. And I have a headache from your jumping around on me, too. Do you think you could check my belly? Poor thing. Belly ache and headache. I'm begging you, please. What? <laughs> the sound effect. What? Now, now, you really should help out, dear boy. Me? In there? Poppycock! My grandmother's last words, and I quote, were Do not go inside a giant tuna. I wouldn't hesitate, of course, being a fearless explorer. But dear boy, one simply can't ignore one's grandmother. <laughs> Very specifically, your grandmother's state. I still respect my grandmother. Her last words uh, involved that that uh, passage of uh, warning. I was hoping you would see new dialogue. Actually, don't be lazy. Let's just talk to the other two. Random question, but do you all ever just get a, a random whiff of a scent? And there's like nothing around, but you think you smell something? And it reminds you of like a certain food? Or a memory? And then you can't really remember the memory? It's not a bad scent. I, I just had a random whiff of something I thought was like a uh, cheese. I thought there was like, like a, uh, you know, cheese on a, a cracker or something. I remember, yeah, the food now. Yeah, it's just weird. I understand if like you walk by something and you get a memory, but like, and, and you smell it, but just getting a random scent out of nowhere is a little weird. Yep, you always smell random smells. Hopefully they're pleasant. <laughs> Sniff, sniff. <laughs> yes, sniff, sniff. <laughs> yeah, I just had a really random, um... Every now and then I might get a, a, a memory associated with the scent, but it's weird. Sometimes I dream about cheese. Hmm. Yeah, cheese. Exactly, mushy. Sniff, sniff. <laughs> it was just really random. I just had this, like, um... This random scent just go into my brain, like, yeah, I smell like some kind of cheddar cheese. I definitely don't have cheddar cheese around me. At least it's not sulfur. <laughs> At least it doesn't smell like rotten eggs or something. Uh, 
A good pop. For Goshzilla? Alright. Goshzilla, you're a good pop. Yes, you are. I don't remember if I saved. I'm having um, goldfish memory right now. Goldfish memory caused by random cheddar memory scent. Oh, no, no, go back. I want to talk to him. Go back. Did you see what's going on in my stomach? What is it? Do something fast. This whale's tongue is squishy. It makes it kind of hard to walk. It's also kind of dark. Oh, my tongue! What are you doing? Sorry. Whoop. Wah, who dat? What do you think you're doing with that light? It's completely dark. I can't see a thing. I can't see a thing, Mario. What's up ahead? You know, being inside a whale belly is gross. Damp. Squishy. Let's never do this again. Juniper, thank you for the raid. Welcome in Raiders. How was your stream? What are y'all up to? Juniper! <laughs> Welcome! Thank you again for your raid! How was the stream? <laughs> Welcome, raiders! How was the stream, everyone? Oh, doing some artwork! That's awesome! I don't think I've ever caught you doing artwork before. What kind of artwork were you doing? Wow, 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 wow! I don't know if I've ever seen you do artwork before. That's awesome. <laughs> Juniper! You were playing Fuga Melodies of Steel 2 and then did some art because it was redeemed. Oh, I see. That's awesome. I didn't know you do artwork. For those who don't know Juniper, please check them out. They are a, I would say, saffron colored ram. Yes. And. They like to play a variety of games. I usually see them playing some Metroidvania kind of games. Um, I forget the name of the the um, uh, the indie game that Juniper was playing the other day, but yeah, uh, they played that. They also were one of the um, the people who taught me how to play Super Animal Royale, and they love Charmander. <laughs> they love Charmander. They have a really um, cozy vibe over there and if you like Resident Evil I think 4 it was you can talk a lot about it with Juniper because it's one of their favorites mm -hmm. oh maybe it was 2 Resident Evil 2 one of the Resident Evils the Anna emote you made yourself oh cute <laughs> that's awesome I didn't know you do artwork that's so cool you were playing Resident Evil 2 earlier this week is that the one you said you like? I, th I thought you liked 4. I could be misremembering. I thought 4 was one of your favorites. Mm -hmm. Yes, please check out Juniper. Go give them lots of love. And for anyone new from Juniper, welcome in. My name is Alden. I'm a blue healer, and I like to voice act. We are playing Paper Mario today, and um, we're heading over to Chapter 5. But welcome in. <laughs> you're always a lovely pup to know. You're lovely too, Juniper. <laughs> Four is the one you love. It got you into horror originally. I see. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. I remembered it. I haven't played um, 
I've only played one Resident Evil, so sometimes I get them confused which one has which. But I'm pretty sure I remember. <laughs> Ashley, hurry. <laughs> Juniper, do you want to play the MRPG? Mm -hmm. I think I need to stop this guy from hopping around. You love to? Alrighty, let's do it. Let me queue it up for you. Let me queue this up and as everyone is joining, I will catch up on chat. One moment. Alrighty now, this is for Team Juniper. To celebrate them raiding in, please type an exclamation point join to help out the team. May you all defeat the dragon and win Juniper in illustration. Mm -hmm. Ashley stood up in front of a shotgun blast for you <laughs> in Resident Evil. <laughs> Doesn't we? I think she wears armor at one point. Do you think you'll play Resident Evil 2, Al? I'd love to. Um, I'd probably need a lot of help, though. <laughs> the, the Resident Evil game I did play from Bebop took me a while, and I needed his help, because I was going to take forever to figure it out. <laughs> I do also want to play Dino Crisis. Um, Rico and a few others were very kind in uh, funding that for us on Throne, so it has been something I've been meaning to play. <laughs> she said peace out in that moment. Oh no. Squish, squish, squish. The one thing I actually did want to get into a lot in Resident Evil, I thought it'd be so cool to play, um, I think it's called Mastermind or something. It was uh, a um, asymmetrical uh, game, kind of like uh, Dead by Daylight. I always thought that was such a cool concept. Gani-san! Okaeri! Okaeri nasai! Rido, arigatou gozaimasu! Otsukai sama deshita! Dani-san! Arigatou gozaimasu! Mm. Dino Crisis is amazing! How is just following a guide? Some of the trial and error puzzles are mean. Oh no! Guess we'll have to save. <laughs> Hopefully we can save. You wanted to play Dino Crisis for a while. It sounds so silly and good. I just thought it was really cool because, um, again, being a lady pup, I feel like I never got to see a lot of um, uh, heroines as a protagonist. It's one of the things that got me really into Star Ocean, one of the few games I got to play where you get to be a woman, so I was like, that's cool! Alrighty, last call. This is again for Team Juniper. To celebrate them raiding in, please type an exclamation point join to help out the team. Also, Donnie-san, do you want to play too? Since you raided in earlier? You need to get your hands on a copy. You have them on your Steam Deck. You haven't had time to play them yet. The Resident Evil game? Oh, fair, yeah. You look forward to me experiencing Regina? She's awesome. Is that the protagonist's name? I, I actually don't even know that. I just know there's a cool red-headed lady on there. Yatta! Yes, alright, Donnie-san, right after we will play. Oh, Dino Crisis, you got that one. Got it, Goshzilla. It's kind of up there with, um, I think her name is Joanne Dark in Perfect Dark. I think she seems cool, too. Come in, Joe. Squish, squish, squish. Cheer, 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 Ashu-san. played Rule of Rose. I have not played it, but I did save up a bunch of money years ago to procure a copy, so I do have it, but I haven't played it. Hello, Manjo. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Also, that little chinchilla? It is... Uh, wait, I think it's a chinchilla. It has like a, a meowth tail, but it looks like a chinchilla to me. Maybe. Might be a cat. 
Is it a chinchilla? I feel like it's a chinchilla. But the tail reminds me of a monkey squirrel. Alrighty, we're gonna go, um, uh, do our best for Team Juniper, and then we'll play the hour RPG again for Team Donnie-san. And I will catch up and chat again. Minasan, ganbanimasu! Let's do our best for Team Juniper! There's the dragon. Here's Team Juniper, led by Soso, Donnie-san, and Soroibot. Those are Holly's cats, and they're not your average bogs. There goes the Brox's Blast! Critical hit, oh my! Orora! And the Rico explosion. It's a Giga Strike. Oh my! Critical hit. Juniper, congratulations! Oh, Meritoka Saimas. Let's see what you win. You won a mini doodle. Wow! Congratulations! Thank you again for the raid. And everyone, thank you for helping out Team Juniper. Juniper, if you want to claim your mini doodle, you can go into our Discord and look under the Now RPG section and read the info channel there. And that will explain how to claim your mini doodle. Also, congratulations to Donnie-san, omedo level 10. And Chi, congratulations, level 54. Yatta! You didn't realize that was possible. A Giga Strike? There's a Giga Strike for every card. I have witnessed, <laughs> when I was testing, I actually witnessed the, the, um, the nut Giga Strike, and I was like, that's amazing! But, <laughs> but no one else got to see it, but I got to be like, I saw it in action! <laughs> Alrighty, let's, let's, um, start up Donnie-san's RPG. The Ultima Nut, yes. <laughs> there is a Giga Strike Nut. I don't know if the level will work. Maybe. Oh, no music? Thank you. I don't know if the level will work since I entered this. Maybe. Alrighty. Please type an exclamation point join to have our team Donnie. This is to celebrate Donnie-san for reading in earlier. Now you have something to look forward to. The not to Giga Strike. Yeah! I was super excited when I saw it. I was like, it happened organically! I didn't have to... I didn't have to type in stuff to hard code it. <laughs> it was so exciting. You never thought you'd witness the dragon defeated, but you did it! Juniper, your team did it! Yeah, the Nut Giga Strike, Leafeon! And so so, yes! At horse racing? Manjo, you were doing horse racing? What game was this? You heard a lot about the story, but the combat's a little wonky. Oh, for um, Rule of Rose? I think Rule of Rose seems a little scary, but we'll see. That's another um, weird horror game with a um, uh, feminine um, main character. I see. Yeah, yeah. It looks really cool. I think her name is Jennifer, I think. Oh, the level came through. Nice. Alrighty. Minasan, ganbarimasu. Let's do our best, everyone. Oh, you're playing The Witcher with John. Nice. I was like, horses and Persona? <laughs> I was a little concerned. I was like, wait, I didn't know they had horses in Persona. You were up to a few shenanigans tonight in The Witcher! Nice! I hear a lot of good things about The Witcher. It was highly recommended to me when um, I was talking to friends at work. Let's do our best, everyone! There's the dragon. Here's Team Dyson led by Juniper, Donnie, and Taco. There goes Leafeon. Explosion. Big damage. Aurora! There's the Beyond again. They're the best looking pop here. What a what a. And the Owl Blast! Critical hit! Oh my! Good luck, everybody! Please type an exclamation point blast to help the team with a final strike. 
Leafeon's winding up. There goes Majin, blessing the team. Oh, big damage! But not quite enough. Everyone, thank you for helping our team, Dani-san. Dani-san, Redo arigatouzaimasu. Otsukari sama deshita. Thank you for your raid. Thank you for your hard work. I hope you enjoyed the pizza. Congratulations to Juniper, now level 3. Aw, yeah, I was so close. GG, GG, nice find. Oh, the small one's so cute too, Juniper. <laughs> so cute. Good try, good try. Congratulations to Maji, now level 28. GG. GG, everybody. Ooh. Ooh. The flex, yeah, getting strong. Hey fella, you want a piece of this? You got it. Ah, uh, Mornery has all get out. Prepare for some pain. Thank you for the hydrate and the head pits, Fuzzy. Unfortunately, I had to use a turn to swap back. Oh, wow, it gets dark without, um, Watt. I didn't know that. No, I didn't know! No! Mistakes were made! Ouch. Oh, this is very tricky. I wonder if I can, uh, stop them briefly. Ooh, that was a little too hard. to use the um the tattle tail or the tattle hmm I want to use this but I can't attack it up there strange little guy. We can't use them. I was hoping for a little more there. Oh, that was close. <laughs> no dirty tricks. Got the level up though. Uh, kind of torn between the HP or FP. FP? Hmm. 
Aww. Shucks. First I think I'd get away from that old fishing man. And then I get all swallowed up by some huge fish. And then this fellow with the mustache goes upside my head. Now I've just been falling out of frying pans into fire since I was just a grub. Talk about a lousy lot in life. Mario, it's me. You know the whale. Can you hear me? <laughs> that stomach ache seems to have cleared right up. I feel fantastic. Uh oh. Hey, it's you, boy. You're that dumb old fish that ate me up and all such. You plum idiot. You know, I thought I was a goner for sure. I'm awfully sorry. I was just having a nap with my mouth open. Well, I suppose I can see my way to forgiving you this time. But you just watch it. No need to insult the whale. My dear Levion, it's a big tuna. I'm a whale. Eh, I reckon I owe you some thanks after all, Mr. Mustache. Y'all take care now. It's not a whale. <laughs> you mean tuna? <laughs> Whew, I feel so much better now. They should call you Dr. Mario. <laughs> That's pretty cute. Because of <laughs> the implication. It's not a tuna. There must be some way I can express my gratitude. I got it. I, the tuna, am... I mean, I, the whale, am quite good at swimming. The tuna. <laughs> they should call you Dr. Mario. And turns and looks at the camera. <laughs> to express my thanks, I'll go anywhere you want to go. Pardon the eavesdropping, but did you just say anywhere? Mario, you old tuna tamer! Accompany me to the shores of Lava Lava Island. What a trip it'll be! The island will be wonderful! You must trust my instincts. Mario, um... I think the star kid said a star spirit was... Um... Caught on the big lava lava island. We... Um... We should go. Big whale, give us a ride. We... Huh? Lava Lava Island? Yes, of course I know where it is, but... Why does everyone keep calling the whale a tuna? <laughs> because, dear Lefion, it is a giant tuna. You miss all the Koopa and Goomba outfits these games all introduced before? They're all so good? The, um... Uh, the different kinds of Koopas and Goombas? Yeah, they're so cool. I like the the Koopas in the um the castle, um in Peach's castle. They have cute little outfits. There's a big volcano on the island, and it's on the verge of erupting. Very dangerous. Do you still want to go? Well, okay then. It's your call. Just let me know when you're ready to go. Some folk are calling it a tuna, but it's obviously a whale. Pretty huge, isn't it? Was that a Karibau? It was. <laughs> There's also a Blue Eyes White Dragon version, too. 
At least the Goomba knows. Yeah, Goomba, you're so smart. <laughs> Leafy on. <laughs> I wonder how many Goombas would fit inside one whale. Sadly, it was the Karibo. He may look scary, being so big, but his eyes seem so kind. Mario, old boy, you must remember to take me to Lava Lava Island with you. You're gonna find the dragon yet? You can do it. I'm not really hoping they say different things. Oh. Oh! It was only a whale after all. Who'd be scared of a whale? M me I... I don't remember that. When you get that one piece of new dialogue that makes it worth it. Oh, no way! For real? A whale, huh? I thought it was some kind of surfacing submarine or something like that. A whale? You don't say. A whale right off the dock. Well, that's sure a relief. Pretty peculiar, though. <laughs> oh, you're going to an island. On a whale, no less. It sounds like a dream. Living a peaceful life on an island with no rules and no schedules to keep. Oh, how I envy you, Mario. Do you want to go to Lava Lava Island? Yes, please. Boop. Oh, maybe this is him. I don't know who's talking. Boop. <laughs> I guess that's uh, Colorado. Boop. Sure, this is safe then. Make some room, hmm? Okay, we're off to Lava Lava Island. The sea is calling. <laughs> there are no rules. <laughs> I can't believe... Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, who, who was saying that? I can't believe we're on a tuna. Who would have thought? I didn't get to catch that before it left. Oh, look at the bird. Chapter 5, Hot Hot Times on Lava Lava Island. The coziness. Don't envy Mario, he's got a lot of paperwork ahead of him. <laughs> Genie, <laughs> nicely done. If you want me to take you back to Toad Town, just ask. Yes, well, I finally made it, eh? So this is Lava Lava Island. Smashing. Gracious! Behold, Mario! There! Off in the distance! The top of Mount Lava Lava! Triumphant! We must hurry! Make haste! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Aww. Aww. We. Or no? Hmm. I had to spin it faster. 
Oh, I hold the spin button. Nice. I thought these were enemies. Dance, dance. There's that on the floor. <laughs> this is where the whale comes and goes. Riding the whale sure was fun. This is where all travelers first set foot on the beach of Lava Lava Island. Beautiful water. Deep, lush jungles. A huge volcano. There's something for everyone. <laughs> These beaches seem to go on forever, don't they? I've never seen some of those flowers. They're sure pretty. I should look for some shells if we have time later. I'm gonna take flowers and shells back to Kumbaria. She'll be happy. And she'll also be jealous. <laughs> Yar! Yar! <laughs> I don't know. Help, I say, help! Who is this? Oh! You got the coconut. A coconut from Lava Lava Island. Throw it to damage one enemy. Hmm. <laughs> you got the letter. A letter to Igor in Boo's shop. Oh no, I can't carry the coconut. Mm -hmm. The land! Ooh! It's dance. Mm -hmm. Get off! Ah! Uh -uh. Guess I'll help. Dear me, how I barely got away! That was rather rude, Mario! Leaving me like that, hmm? Well, we all can't be heroes. Let's press on, hmm? <laughs> I'm sorry, I just want to look around. Yoshi Village! Hi, hello, howdy. This is Yoshi Village. Mount Lava Lava, you say? Well, the volcano is just to the east of our village, but there's no way to reach it. Besides, the village leader said it's best not to get too close because it looked like it might erupt any day. A Yoshi. This Yoshi always hangs out around the village entrance. I think I have a letter for you. I guess I don't. Yoshi seemed to love the beach. Just looking at those guys basking in the sun makes me feel very relaxed. And yet, even though I love to just sleep on the beach, I'm excited to move on. Nothing compares to adventure, that's for sure. This music's so nice. Oh man, Chuck Quizmo! And Yoshi's! He's the village leader. He's very dignified. Doesn't he look thoughtful and perceptive? He's a Yoshi who is an old friend of the village leader. They've known each other ever since they were kids. I hear they pulled many a prank together. They must be really close pals if they've been friends for so long.
Oh, I should try to see if it's here. There we go. He's Chuck Quizmo. He tries to quiz anybody who speaks to him. He pops up in various towns and villages, but that doesn't mean he's easy to find. What do you think his deal is? Personally, I'm a little more interested in his assistant. She's cute. Hey there, Mario. Have you met the ravens yet? They live at the top of the biggest tree in the village. Yoshi! There are lots of them, but they never come down. They speak a different language from ours, too. Pretty mysterious, huh? Everyone says they're disciples of the master of this island, Raphael the Raven. But... Do you really think so? He's a blue Yoshi. He's just hanging out here. Maybe he's a marine Yoshi. You know, because he's blue? Okay, maybe not. <laughs> this Yoshi is really easy to talk to. I bet everyone likes him. He's so friendly! My Goompa once read me a book that had a Yoshi in it, but I never really thought that they existed. It's so exciting to see them! Well, well, hello! If it isn't Mario, welcome to Lava Lava Island. This island's almost entirely covered by thick jungles. Still, how can you be living in this tropical climate? The village leader is my friend. I mean, hello. How are you? But anyway, ever since he was a child, the village leader has been very... has had a very strong sense of personal responsibility. When I heard he was going to be the village leader, I wasn't surprised at all. The village leader used to get in all sorts of mischief when he was younger. He used to give his parents fits. The jungle wasn't as dangerous back then as it is now. He used to climb trees, throw rocks, tease ravens. You name some mischief, and I can guarantee you he did it. <laughs> Maybe you better not tell him I told you all that stuff. Welcome to you, Mario. I am the village leader of Yoshi's Village. Ah, you come seeking help. You wish to go to Mount Lava Lava, do you? Hmm... The entrance to the volcano is in the jungle, but it's very difficult to get to it. The volcano has awakened as well. I think it may be too dangerous for you to go there. Yoshis. Oh, baby Yoshis. Look at this one. We're the fearsome five. When we arrive, it's live at five. We always stick together, even when we're being bad. So cute, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Speaking of which, today's the day we put our secret plan into action. It's so cool. Only we five know the plan, and that's the way it has to be. Sorry, can't tell you. Oh man, I'm so excited. I hope I can find a lot of tasty fruit in the jungle. He's a yellow Yoshi kid. Whoa! He's cheery, huh? 
this kid is full of pep. I was the same back in the days when I was small. What? I'm still small? Well, yeah, compared to you, I guess I'm still wet behind the ears. Mm -hmm. Arcane, thank you for the raid. Welcome in, raiders. Spooky ghost and Scooby snacks. Oh boy. I wonder what you were doing with Scooby snacks and spooky ghosts. <laughs> Welcome in, Toozy and uh, Quicksaber. Welcome, readers. Arcade, welcome in. Thank you for the raid. How was your stream? Raiders, how's the stream? Were you playing a Scooby game, maybe? Howdy, Toozy or Tuzzy, let me know. Welcome in, raiders. Welcome, raiders. Cheer, cheer, cheer. It was good. Nice. It was a lot of fun. We were playing a Scooby game. Oh man, I wonder what kind of um, Scooby game this was like. Is it kind of like um, I don't know, a platformer or maybe a point and click? Welcome in everyone. For those who don't know Arcade, please check them out. They are a literal arcade machine and they know all sorts of fun tidbits of history from the vintage and retro days of arcade machines and video games. They also are accompanied by the Castle Critters. So right now you see a bunch of Albi, the, the, the bat, and they also have um, Clyde, the Howler Monkey, I believe, and um, I believe Bella, and all sorts of other Castle Critters who will come to play all sorts of games on arcade stream, depending on the game genre. Very, very cool. Arcade is very, very sweet and very friendly, and I hope that you'll go check them out and give them a lot of love. Welcome, everyone. Toozy and Tazzy are both correct. Use whatever's most comfortable. Alrighty. Well, nice to meet you, Toozy. Welcome in. It's a platformer, and you also use a magic book to bust ghosts. Cool. I wonder if it's kind of based off of that, um, 13 Ghost Scooby movie or Scooby Doo uh, series, maybe. You were talking about 90s kids book series like Goosebumps, Animorphs, The Bernstein Bears, Boxcar Children, and Pee Wee Scouts. Ooh, I remember quite a few of those. Animorphs are super cool because you get to flip through the pages like a flip book and see the uh, the heroes turn into different animals like a tiger. It was so cool. <laughs> And for anyone new from Arcade, welcome in. My name is Alan, I'm a blue healer, and I like to voice act. Today we're playing some Paper Mario, and we just entered into Chapter 5. Welcome in. Arcade, would you like to play the RPG? Nice to see you too. The Goosebumps series. That used to scare me <laughs> when I saw the um, the movies and, and TV shows like Are You Afraid of the Dark? I was like, this is scary. Sure? Alrighty, let's do it. Alrighty, please type an exclamation point join to help out the team. This is to celebrate Arcade raiding in. May you all defeat the dragon and win Arcade in illustration. The new Goosebumps TV show is pretty fun. I didn't realize they had a new one. I remember thinking, I never read the book, but I remember seeing, um, I feel like it was a, an episode or a movie of, uh, I think it was called The Mask? Not, not the one with the, um, I think it was Jim Carrey. Not that one. Um, anyway, some girl steals a mask and it's very scary. <laughs> I think she can't get it off her head or something. Disney made one? I see. The Haunted Mask. Is that it, Turquoise? You know what I'm talking about, right? It's like a, a, a green... That's why I couldn't see it was the mask, because the mask is also green. But it's like a kind of um, dark forest green, uh, scary looking mask that this, this uh, lady steals.
Each episode was based off one of the books, but it was connected to a series. Oh, yeah, because I don't, again, I didn't read the series, but I don't think they were connected initially. Perhaps they were. You know that episode, the Halloween mask. It molds into her skin. Yeah, it was really creepy. <laughs> and then she's very, um, very sad about her uh, consequences. Alrighty, last call. This is to celebrate Arcade for raiding in. Please type an exclamation point join to help out the team. Your favorite Goosebumps was a night in Terror Tower. You've been to the place in Toronto where they filmed it. Hmm, I don't know if I've seen this. I don't know if I've seen that. The Haunted Mask or the Halloween Mask, I definitely remember. That's kind of burned into my brain. <laughs> For some reason, that name evokes imagery of like a comic book, a person who really enjoys comic books. But I might be confusing that with Are You Afraid of the Dark? Let's do our best, everyone. You always loved the Goosebump books? Horror Land was fun. It was so creepy. <laughs> so creepy. You love Are You Afraid of the Dark? I remember watching that. Very scary. You love Are You Afraid of the Dark too? I think the episode with the chameleon sh um, shape-shifting or swapping places, that was probably the scariest one for me. There's the dragon, Aurora. Here's Team Arcade, led by Gemini, a cutie, and Panther. There goes the Roxas Blast, critical hit, Aurora. And the Cabal Moogle attack, big damage. And the Mushy Nut, Nut. Please type an exclamation point blast to help the team with their final strike. There goes Mushy, blessing the team. Big damage. Big damage with the final strike. But not quite enough. Everyone, thank you for helping out. Team Arcade. Arcade, thank you again for the raid. And for letting us know about the Scooby game. I never heard of this game. It sounds like you had a ton of fun reminiscing about the days of yore. <laughs> and everyone, please go check out Arcade again. Very, very friendly. Very, very awesome uh, vintage things you can see over there at arcades. Congratulations to Quake Saber, now level 2, and Panther, now level 3, and Mushy, now level 16. Congratulations, everyone. And GG again. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Foro arigatouzaimasu. Irishai. Ooh. Minute for the Midnight Society, some spooky stuff. This sounds familiar too. Wasn't that Are You? Wasn't that Are You Afraid of the Dark? That's what they call it the group, right? <laughs> Dragon Friend survives to fight another day. They do. You thought the scariest episode was the tale of um the the deceased man's float. Do you remember the one with the red skeleton in the swimming pool? Oh yeah, no, no, no. That's creepy. Like, I don't, I don't know how they got away with that, like, on PG-13. <laughs> that is a creepy episode. It looks... It looks bad. <laughs> Almost like Carrie's or something. I think that's what that, that thing is called, right? That movie about the lady with superpowers? And she's worried about the, uh... They're all gonna laugh at her, I think. Tuzi, it's really appreciated. Thank you. Enjoy your lurk. Spunky, hello, welcome in. Good to see you. How you been doing? Hi, Gohan, welcome in. This is a sort of mix on Yoshi Island title screen. Is it? You always thought about the episode with Melissa Joan Hart. I'm cold. Hmm. I don't know if I remember this one. 
I watched quite a bit of Are You Afraid of the Dark, but I don't remember the specifics except for the scary scenes. The the chameleon one, very scary. Thank you for the hydrate fuzzy, I will do that. And for the head pet, thank you. They're all gonna laugh at you. Yeah, Carrie, it was scary. I think when I think of so cold, I feel like I think that's what a, a little cat boy says or something in one of the I forget which movie it is. I think, or maybe it is meows. I might be confusing them. Does anybody remember Choose Your Own Adventure Goosebump books? I never read the Goosebump books. I feel like I've seen something like that. Choose Your Own Adventures used to be really big back in the day. Where you had to go to, um, it says pick a path and you had to flip to the page and see if you survived or not. But I don't remember which book that was that I read like that. You gotta love how those scary scenes just get burned to memory banks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they definitely did. <laughs> You remember? You collected most of the Goosebumps books. They're so scary. Your favorite Choose Your Own Adventure was a Mario one. Really? I didn't know there was a Mario book. For Choose Your Own Adventure, anyway. You read the early Goosebumps. Are they still making them? I feel like they would have been done already. Annual book bear at school. Gotta buy the latest goosebumps. You're doing good. Finally done with work for the week and now have a couple of free days. Your birthday is also gonna be soon. Oh, happy early birthday. Hope you have a wonderful one. How are you and chat doing? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. I hope you can relax now that you've finished your hard work. <laughs> good job on finishing the work. You think they'd be remastering some of the books? I never thought about remastering a book. What do they do with that? How does that work? I understand remastering maybe um, a movie. How do you remaster a book? There's a Goosebumps series on Hulu and Disney Plus that is very good. Hmm. Of course, happy early birthday, Spunky. I hope you have a very exciting one when you celebrate. You guess modernizing it for some current um, generations. Oh, you mean like maybe the language they use? Like I guess um, some of the slang words maybe, if they have that? Maybe. When does Paper Link show up? Hmm, I don't know if there's a paper link, J.A. It would be really cute, though. I think that's in a link uh, of two worlds or something. <laughs> good morning, J.A. The Goosebumps TV show of the 90s is good, but its limited budget did show in some episodes. Definitely not the, the, uh, the swimming... Oh, wait, no, that's not Goosebumps. Sorry, I get them confused. <laughs> the swimming episode with the scary lady in red. For the scary person in red. There's a real tropical resort atmosphere here, isn't there? There's a nice toad house with beach access, and you can go to the volcano or jade jungle. Mm -hmm. You love the old goosebumps and Are You Afraid of the Dark episodes. There were also some similar ones that were equally spooky. Yeah, I was sharing a little bit earlier, Spunky, that the one that scares me the most, um, <laughs> that I remember vividly, is, uh, is one about, um, a chameleon that swaps bodies. I think it was chameleon. It might have been, I think, I think they, it's supposed to be a chameleon, but I think they call it a gecko or something in the, in the episode. I feel like they, they misnamed what the animal was, or they, it might have been, it was, I think it's, they use the wrong animal, I think, but they call it a chameleon. Like using like a, it wasn't a monitor lizard, but they use something like that, right? Like imagine someone putting, I don't know, a crocodile out and then calling it a frog. <laughs> and they're not the same thing. The 
the twins. I think that's what it was called. It was scary. They called it a chameleon, but it was actually an iguana. Chameleons have very distinctive eyes. Yeah, okay, yeah, it was definitely an iguana. I remember it was just, I think it was a little baby iguana. Zaren-san, thank you for the two months of support. I really appreciate that. Hello, welcome in. Would you like to play the RPG? <laughs> it is kind of funny though that they called it a, a chameleon, but it was an iguana. Nyambasu! Cheer party, cheer! Yes? Alrighty, let's play. Alrighty. Please type an exclamation point join to help out the team. This is for Team Zenmasan. To celebrate them supporting our channel for two months. May you all defeat the dragon and win Zenasan an illustration. Nice join, good join. Squish, squish, squish. Cheer party, cheer. <laughs> that one's going so crazy. I don't know what it is. It's going crazy. Spicy dragon kisses. For some reason that conjured imagery of like um a chipotle dark chocolate. Nice join, good join. Welcome in, Feral Ash. Welcome in. Hello, hello. Join the party. <laughs> join the party, Seru. Dream chocolate. Yeah, dark chocolate with some chipotle in it. A little kick. Squish, squish, squish. Minasan, ganbarimasu. Let's do our best, everyone. For Team Zernasan. There's the dragon. Here's Team Xana-san, led by Chi, Ayumi-san, and Cutie. There's Pamst. They're the best looking pup here. Aurora. And the Rico Moogle attack. Aurora. There's me. I'm the best looking pup here. Please type an exclamation point blast to help the team with their final strike. Aurora. Punch, punch. There goes JD, blessing the team. Good luck! Cheat codes! No! <laughs> Big damage with the final strike. But not quite enough. Everyone, thank you for helping out Team Zenasan. Zenasan, arigatasaimasu! Ni kagetsu, arigatasaimasu! Thank you for the two months of support. Experience points are now being distributed. Mm -hmm. Congratulations to Feral Ash, now level 2. Not... Not rigged. Rigged Janai Das. Experience points have now been distributed. GG, everybody. Oof. Ink, welcome in. Squish, squish. He's a green Yoshi kid. He's an excitable rascal, huh? Yoshi kids get pretty big. Ink, hello, how are you? All he wants to do is explore beyond his village. I know how he be I know how he feels. Hope everyone is well. I'm doing well. I hope you are too. Hope we have a good start to the weekend. Ayumi san. Nom nom pera pera. We're the fearsome five of Yoshi's village. Yeah. We play hide and seek together. We can't leave the village, though, so it's sort of boring. I want to play somewhere bigger and more exciting. And I want to see the jungle. It's dangerous, you know. Now that'd be exciting. How goes everything? How goes Paper Mario? Going pretty well. Um, we just started Chapter 5 after doing quite a bit of side questing. 
And uh, now I get to meet the Yoshis. Look how cute they are. There we go, save point. I was wondering where this was. Alright, really quick, folks. I need to go to the washroom. Um, and I also need to refill one of my water bottles. I'll be back momentarily. I'll see you very soon. Thank you all for your patience. Mm -hmm. Well, wrong. Well. <laughs> Sit. 
How goes the weekend for the pizza puffs? Yeah, I hope you all are having a wonderful start to your weekend. OC, welcome in. Heart of the cards. Welcome back. Thank you. Tadaima. I've returned. He's a purple Yoshi kid. Not a care in the world. Very cute. He seems to like you, Mario. Oh, it's Mario. You are an adventurer or something, right? Oh, wow, cool. Who's that with you? Is that your partner? Man, I wish I could be. That'd be a dream come true. The grown-ups won't let us out of the village because they say it's too dangerous. That meddling old Cheep Cheep is always watching us, and she won't let us enter the jungle. <laughs> we'll see about that. Us guys? The Fearsome Five? We aren't afraid of anything. Welcome to Yoshi's Cabana. What's your pleasure? He's a Yoshi who set up a little shop on the island. He sells, checks, and buys items. Remember, shops are different in different parts of the world. I see items this shop that you can't get anywhere but here. Really? Oh, I guess so. the Yoshi child and leave Goombario behind. And with that, we'll have a brand new partner. No, Spunky. I want both. <laughs> I want both. I like Goombario. Mm He's very knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. This Yoshi loves food like nobody's business. I wonder what he'd do if we gave him some food made by Taste Tea. He'd freak out! How are you, Mario? Hey, have you talked with the Cheep Cheep over there yet? She's famous around here for being a great babysitter. Her name is Sushi. <laughs> Sushi. She watches over the kids. What will we do without her? Sometimes the kids complain about her, but kids are kids. By the way, an archaeologist in Colorado or something went into the jungle alone. He said he was making for Mount Lava Lava, but the path ends halfway there. I wonder how far he got. Oh, welcome. We don't get visitors to this island often. You should know that the jungle beyond there is dangerous. Our kids are forbidden to go in. Oh, and by the way, I just saw a Koopa guy who calls himself the archaeologist running off in the opposite direction. He was saying something about finding a way to the volcano. Now there's the guy who's heading for danger. Ayoshi, I've seen pictures and books of these guys. I want to ride on one's back. It's always been a childhood dream of mine. <laughs> the stare. You're the fearsome five of Yoshi's village. We're all very best friends, you know. We're together when we play and when we get in trouble. We're always together. Of course, now we won't be. We're playing hide and seek. 
And I'm it. I hate being it. Hmm. He's a blue Yoshi kid. He thinks he's different from the other Yoshi kids. What a cute little guy. I can see how he might get on your nerves, though. Yoshi kids are so cheerful. This red Yoshi kid, though, looks pretty mischievous. The ink. He looks like a little scamp. I bet he gets into all sorts of trouble and doesn't regret it a bit. <laughs> no, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> Zio, welcome back. I hope work is treating you well. Hato, hato. What? That's like me? Mario! Come on, take it back! Oh, it's Mario! Hey, Mario! Are you looking for an adventure? If you want, we'll go with you. You won't have to worry at all. The Fearsome Five's got your back. Let's go to the jungle! We're not scared. We just can't ever go because that meddlesome old cheat cheap stops us. I think I have a letter for you. But this is not the person who gives letters. You're done shopping for dinner, and it's home for you. Ah, take care of shopping and traveling home. Gumbario knows a lot about the Yoshi kids, even though he just met them. He's a genius. <laughs> he knows so much about everybody. A red Yoshi kid. Ah, oh, you must be the one. The name is Perikari. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. A letter to the Red Yoshi Kid in Yoshi's Village. Another letter duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. Thanks. I wonder what it is. Oh, my pal made up a new game. I've got to play this later. He played Yoshi's Island once and knows the lore. <laughs> I know, he won. Well, wait, Yoshi's Island. <laughs> I think he probably played um, Super Mario World since he wants to ride on them. Oh, well, I guess. No, I guess I take that back. Yoshi's Island, Mario does ride on Yoshi too. For some reason, I thought Yoshi was carrying Mario in his mouth. Exaggerates effort of everything. He also wants me to come over to his town and play with him sometime. But how can I get there? Oh well. Maybe someday I'll be able to cross the sea and hang out. Rarakune, thank you for the raid. Welcome in, raiders. How was your stream? What are y'all up to? Welcome, raiders. You're right, Al. He played Yoshi's Cookie. <laughs> Yoshi's Cookie with the, um, the, the super scope. Mm. Welcome, readers. You were playing some Brawlhalla. Ooh. How was it? Hello, Radakune. Welcome in, readers. Hello. Thank you for the raid. How was your stream? How was Brawlhalla? Mm -hmm. Also, Radakune, would you like to introduce yourself and the kind of things you like to play? I would love to give you a shout out. And for anyone new, welcome in. My name is Alan. I'm a blue healer, and I like to voice act. Today we're playing Paper Mario, and we are just starting Chapter 5. Welcome in. But yes, Radakune, please feel free to introduce yourself and the kind of things you like to stream. I would love to give you a shout out. Boy, a donut.
Thank you. Thank you for the head pets. We came from streaming some Brawlhalla. I hope you have fun with Brawlhalla. I never played that, but my understanding is it's similar to games like Smash Brothers. <laughs> Thank you, Tiwi. This game is not rated M. <laughs> Thank you for the head pets. Yes, folks, if you want to see someone who's playing some Brawlhalla, Ooh. please check out Radakune. <laughs> rated M for Mario. <laughs> for Mario! Also, Radakune, let me know if you want to play the LRPG. It is a mini game that we play here when someone raids in, subscribes, or gives a subscription. And if you win the mini game, you win an illustration from me. All you gotta do to play is say yes and hang around a few minutes. Ding ding! <laughs> Woof! Oh well. Maybe someday I'll be able to cross the sea and hang out. It's really funny because I was just writing him a letter about a game I made up. Mr. Parakiri, will you help? Here. Deliver my letter to the Toad Kid who asked you to send this one to me. Squish, squish, squish. Thank you for the shout out to Radakune. Could you? Thanks. You got the letter. A letter to Dane T near Toad Town Station. exists in four dimensions due to orbology, there is no orb. No orbomancer, no orbologist, no. No orb. She's a cheap cheap. Her name is Sushi. She sort of meddlesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't know, it seems like fun though. You wanna just hang around for a while? But thanks for the offer? No worries. Thank you again for the raid. I hope you had a lot of fun with Brawlhalla. Enjoy your stay. She's sorta of meddlesome. At least, that's what Yoshi kids say. According to them, she tries to control their lives. I think she's just trying to take care of them, but she doesn't seem to be succeeding. Oh, it's so rare to have visitors these days. I'd love to stop and chat, but I have my fins full. But how are they playing together if they are living so far away? Does the whale transport them? Hmm. I don't know if they play together. It seems like they're sharing game ideas together via the letters. Maybe I misread it though. Hmm. I'm watching these boys who are very, very naughty. So they don't do anything dangerous. I can't prove it yet, but I bet they're planning something. Well, if they think they can fool sushi, they've got... They've, they'd better think again. Ooh, ravens. He's a raven. Ravens are short and chubby. They're pretty fluffy too. And somewhat cuddly. And soft. Goombario, please join me. There we go. Aww. He's a raven. Ravens are really cute. I told Cooper that, and he said I had weird taste. What's so weird about that? Aren't they cute, Mario? Yes, they're quite a cute dog. Very cute. Caw, caw, caw. <laughs> There's no orbometer. <laughs> Do we please? You like to see the ravens vibing in sync? Yeah. They're just chillin'. 
He's a raven. Ravens only say caw, unless they... Unless they think they have something really important to tell you. They only tell important stuff to people they trust. I wish they'd trust us to tell us something. Oracle of the Stars. Mario comes to this island. Mario is fated to meet Master Raphael the Raven. Call. He just spoke. He spoke to us, Goombario. Goombario wants a Raven plushie confirmed. Wouldn't it be so cute? I'm sure they have one of these. They're really adorable. A crow talked to you a few weeks ago. It just kept yelling, Go! Go! <laughs> He's a raven. He looks good in black. Can we take him with us, Mario? He doesn't want to go. What a bummer. Call. Are you the Mario that Master Raphael the Raven was telling us about? This is a very colorful game. It is. It's really cute. Hmm, I can't reach this guy. Oh well. Oh no! I thought they was friendly. This is a hurt plant. Hurt plants pretend to be heart plants, which give you a heart when you touch them. Max HP 8. Attack power 2. Defense power 0. If a hurt plant bites you, you'll be poisoned. Then your HP will slowly fall with each turn. We'd better beat him as quickly as possible. Unless you can frequently restore your HP, you'll find yourself in trouble pretty fast. <laughs> You're baffled. You also baffled the birds when you used to where you used to live. It is March. It is March. You see turkey vultures on a daily basis. Do you think a hurt plant hurts? Yes. They're enormous. Remember you were saying you thought this was an enemy? So some of them are. I thought it was gonna hurt me and now they are. The hurt plant. The heart plant. Got it. <laughs> hmm. They didn't say we can't jump on them. To do this. Hmm. I thought jungles were supposed to be all trees, but this one's full of water. Are all jungles like this? It looks like we can't reach the other shore from here. We'll have to find some other way. Oh my! That is not what I was expecting. What fun music. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is fun. I like this music style. Oh my! Turkey vultures are like three feet tall. They're also extremely annoying to you because they refuse to move if they land somewhere. Squish, 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 squish. 
You forgot how good the music is here. Doesn't it sound awesome? I was jamming out to it too. Kind of reminds me of um, the Black Mage Village in Final Fantasy IX. Ambush. This is an ambush. Oh, ambush, I guess. <laughs> ambush versus ambush. <laughs> Funny. This is an ambush. Ambushes pretend to be bushes and wait for an unwary prey. Max HP 8. Attack power 3. Defense power 0. Mm -hmm. I hope you're okay, Tui. Can Mario even get more flat? Even more flatter than paper? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe Mario can be can become uh what's that thing called? <laughs> oh, I was just thinking about it. Um I forgot what we use Avogadro's number for. Like a molecule? Molecular Mario. Avogadro's number. Molecules, right? Small little particles. You're fine. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad, Tui. <laughs> Get even. Yeah, definitely don't want the window broken. Those are expensive to fix. Many of these enemies seem to be based on stealthy attacks. Mm hmm. Mario Gami. Mario Gami. Avogadro's number is for defining the molecular concentration of chemicals. Yes, that sounds right. Maybe Mario can become very small, molecular level. That's the only way I can see him becoming thinner than paper. Their bites are sometimes poisonous, so be careful. If you get poisoned, your HP will gradually fall. Your situation could become critical unless you restore your HP as soon as possible. Let's clear him out quickly, okay? Use your most powerful attack, why don't you? <laughs> oh! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that jump. I thought he was gonna like do a little wind up and then uh, jump. Sometimes crossing bridges is the only way to reach certain islands. It seems like a pain, but what are you gonna do? Peace. Mm, okay. Three moles of hydrochloric hydrochloric acid is very common used in chemistry. Hmm, I see. It's a pretty low concentration. Yeah, three moles, I imagine. You really love the fact they gave Gumbario so much dialogue. Me too! He's my little favorite buddy because we get to listen to what his thoughts on every person or creature we encounter. Every... Every, um... I don't know what you call it. Map? I guess zone. Every zone we walk into. We get to hear so much dialogue. It's awesome. <laughs> He's the Toad of Toad House. He was sent here from Princess Peach's castle. This Toad House is kind of a resort hotel. A resort hotel? 
The toad here seems to like his job. It's one long vacation. <laughs> Not safe, but better than like 10 moles. Someone had to think up of something for every screen and person. They did. This looks cozy. If I was going to hide something, I'd put it here. I keep feeling I need to hit these things, even though it's probably just... Yeah, they're coconuts. I never know if a letter's going to fall out. Yeah! Help! Help! The entrance to the volcano is very near here. A green jungle, a massive volcano, and red hot flowing lava. What a view! It probably wouldn't look so good if the lava was coming toward us. Oh no! He's getting all sorts of messed up. A lot of chemicals are not liquid at room temperature unless dissolved into a solution. So to define the level of chemical in a solution, you multiply the morality of the Avogadro number to get the number of atoms in that chemical. Oh, molarity, not morality. I was like, multiply the morality by Avogadro's number? Multiply the molarity. <laughs> the morality. Mm -hmm. It's made to convert mass and number of molecules. Yes, this sounds right. Yes, bonk, bonk. There's a lot of bonking. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, get a hold of yourself. What do you say you attack the enemy instead of me, hmm? I'm sorry, that's just funny. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to hit you. I'm trying to stop. This is a spear guy. Spear guys are relatives of shy guys. They live in the jungle. I didn't mean to jump on him. You memorized that in chemistry class, so you wouldn't have to study. Makes sense. What a silly way to start the battle. Bunk. Max HP 7, attack power 3, defense power 0. You'll get hurt if you attack with a hammer while they're pointing the spear at you. You also get hurt if you try to jump on him when the spear is pointing upward. Pay attention to the position of their spears when we attack. Oh yeah, they also sometimes call them reinforcements. After they throw their spears, they become ordinary shy guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, too early. <laughs> you would memorize key facts and use those for tests by kind of figuring it out instead of bothering to study. I guess it's kind of studying. Kind of. It worked most of the time for you. It doesn't matter when you have the spike badge on. Yeah, except for Goombario. I wish the spike badge would apply to Goombario, but it doesn't. Oh, this time you came through. Yeah, sorry about the last time. <laughs> I didn't mean to leave you. Awfully good of you, old chap. Now, I feel that our destination, the volcano, is quite near. Let's press on while our spirits are high, eh? Thank you for the head pants.
first Alan ignored him when he gets attacked, and now this. <laughs> no, Spunky, it was an accident. I was just exploring. I thought he was gonna wait. And apparently, <laughs> they don't wait. That's a big tree. Ah, Mario. Have a look at this. Ba -da -da -dum. Looks like the entrance to the volcano, eh, old boy? <laughs> the music. The music in this level doesn't do it for you. Have you seen the Super Mario movie? Uh, I did, yes. I watched uh, the really old one and the newer one recently. The one where... <laughs> the live action one, kind of creepy. And the newer one. With the uh, Jack Black Bowser, yes. Looks like the entrance to the volcano, eh, old boy? Somewhere in that volcano are the treasures I'm looking for. I know it. The secrets of an ancient civilization. How strong are you? Um, this strong. Grr. I don't know. <laughs> how, how am I supposed to measure that? <laughs> With Chris Pratt. Yeah, that one. I saw that one, OC. What about the Mario TV Ooh. show? Yeah, I remember the Mario TV show, too. And that's a Mama Luigi to you. Mama Ooh. Luigi. What kind of lunch meat do you like? Uh, I don't know. Ham? I don't normally eat a lot of lunch meat, I guess. Risp rat? Mmm, maybe. And the three second uh, Charles Martinet screen time. Hmm, not sure. Idol, thank you for the raid. Welcome in, Raiders. How was your stream? Raiders, how was the stream? What are y'all up to? Welcome, Raiders. I don't know who that is, Tui. The Katamari Roll. Welcome in, Idol. How was the stream? Were you playing some fighting games? What are y'all up to? The Gabagool. It was cool. What were you up to? Ah, Tekken 8, of course. I was like, I remember you. <laughs> you were doing really well in the Pizza Pub tournament for Street Fighter 6. <laughs> I remember your skills. You were streaming some Tekken 8. Very nice. It looks like a lot of fun. The characters look absolutely gorgeous in that game. For those who don't know Idol, please check them out. They are very, very skilled in playing fighting games, even though they're very humble about their skills. And recently... They've been playing some Tekken 8. I've also got to witness their skills playing some Street Fighter 6 a little bit ago. Mm -hmm. And for anyone new from Idol, welcome in. My name is Alvin. I'm a blue healer, and I like to voice act. We are playing some Paper Mario today, and we are just getting on in Chapter 5. But welcome in. The actual voice of Mario got three seconds of screen time in the movie as a cameo. Oh, I see. From the very beginning. Yeah, Tekken. I don't know how to say this to we Cap Capicolo. Capicolo is Gabagool. Also the dragon in Skyrim. Oh, interesting. Thanks. You try your best? Having fun with uh, playing fighting games? Yeah, I hope you had a lot of fun. I, I've always wished in Tekken they'd bring back Michelle. I thought she was a really cool character. I don't know if they still have Julia. I guess I guess they just decided having the daughter was good enough. But King is also cool. <laughs> I like King too. <laughs> Idol, do you want to play the LRPG? Yeah, Idol is very good at fighting games. Mm-hmm. 
fighting games take a lot of quick reaction timing to be so good at. Yeah, and getting really good at the input combo, especially with those quarter circle and um, the dragon punches and stuff. Yeah. The best character in Tekken has always been Lei Wulong. Hmm. That's not named Michelle or Ogre. <laughs> or King. <laughs> you love King. He's your main. Dude, King is so cool, isn't he? They make you so hungry. You can't play the grapplers. Yeah. I'm not very good with grapplers either. Like Zangief and all them. Mm -mm. Yes, Idol, let me know if you want to play the RPG. It is a mini game we play to celebrate people who raid in, uh, subscribe, or get a subscription. All you have to do to play is say yes and hang around a few minutes. But, um, yeah, if you win, you can win an illustration from me. Lei Wu Long is the character you can play at the beginning, playing by button mashing. Hmm. For some reason, I remember way back in the day, uh, I think his name was John Johnny Paul or something? Or just Paul, I forget. He had like a super Kamehameha input. Sure, you're in? Alright, let's do it. Yeah, Yoshi Mitsu, my brother liked playing that one, especially when he goes on the pogo stick mode. <laughs> Paul's here, yeah, <laughs> Paul. <laughs> Alrighty, please type an exclamation point join to help out the team. This is for Team Idol to celebrate Idol raiding in. May you all defeat the dragon and win Idol in illustration. Boing. Wait a minute, boing. It's not boing. It's jump. Boing. Again, this is for Team Idol to celebrate them raiding in. Please type an exclamation point join to help out the team. Boing, boing, boing. Squish, squish. Dance, dance. The squishies. Squish, squish, squish. Nice join, good join. Last call. Please type an exclamation point join to help out the team. It's some very nice music. Yeah, it was open source. Um, composed by someone named Komiku. Saku Saku. Nice join, good join. You prefer Kinoko no Yama? I don't know what that is. Let's do our best, everyone. There's the dragon. Here is Team Idol, led by Donisan, a cutie, and Chi. There goes the Roxas Blast, big damage. There's Leafeon, they're the best looking pup here. And the Elder Goth Nut. Nut. Please type an exclamation point blast to help the team with their final strike. Aurora. Oh, they're mushroom-shaped biscuits with chocolate caps. Those sound good. Big dragon! There's turquoise blessing the team. Oh, big damage! But not quite enough. Everyone, thank you for helping out Team Idol. Idol, thank you for the raid. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have even more fun when you continue to play some more tech and eat. GG, GG, nice fight. Congratulations to Radakune, now level two. No, don't cry, it was a good fight. Experience points are being distributed. GG. Alrighty, they have all now been distributed. <laughs> Rest in peace. It's okay, they ran away idle. They live to fight another day. Oof. Somewhere in that volcano are the treasures I'm looking for. I know it. 
the secrets of an ancient civilization. And yet, I can't find a way in. Bit of a sticky wicket, hmm? <laughs> Thank goodness, yes. But I shall not give up. A good explorer never stops gathering information. Let's go back to the village to look for clues. There must be a way in there. There simply must. Come now. Oopsie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I read this one. It does look really cool. Or, I mean, it looks fascinating. <laughs> it looks like it'd be hot. Stop! Stop it! Oh, oh, oh! Did you think I was beset by enemies again, old boy? Just a bit of a joke. Explorers must have a sense of humor, you don't you know? At any rate, let's move on, hmm? I was ready to come help you. The lava looks very hot, mm hmm Oh no, music. Sounds chaotic. Oh no, they're crying! Kids are gone! The only place they could have gone is... Nope, the jungle! I had a feeling they were up to something lately. But I thought it was just mischief. I didn't think they'd go to such a dangerous area. Ah. Uh... <laughs> jam jam. <laughs> what do we do? How will we find them? It's terrible, just terrible. The kids are all gone. We told them a thousand times never go into the jungle. Sushi went after them. She's a cheap cheap who always takes care of the kids. How could this have happened? There must be a reason. Mario, please, please help. Look for the kids. Oh, such a fortune. The children are missing. They seem to have secretly slipped off to the jungle. They don't know it's dangerous. We must get them back here to safety. Mario, could I ask you to look for these lost children? As you can see, the Yoshis of my village are panicking. They aren't thinking straight. I'll try to calm them down. You just find those kids. Mm. Mario, I can't tell you how dangerous the jungle is. It's even dangerous for us adult Yoshis if we aren't extremely careful. To imagine the boys in such a place. <sighs> Please, you must find them. I swear, all these natives are so panicky that we can't get any information. I guess someone had better solve their problems so we can quiz them, eh, old boy? Oh, we have a huge problem! The children have disappeared! Thank you for the hydrate. I will do that. And the head pads, thank you. Thank you for putting me in, into my anime form. I just stare and blink for the next three minutes. Well, what should I? Hmm? Oh, what'll... No! Village leader should! 
Uh, I can't explain. Oh man, what are we gonna do? The kids have disappeared. Oh, what should we do? We gotta do something. <laughs> Airplane noises. <laughs> Your skills of voice acting are this high up. Oh, Rawakune, thank you. Thank you for the compliment. I really appreciate that. Okay, calm down. Get a hold of yourself. We should consult the village leader. Yes, the leader will know. Those voices are amazing. Oh, turquoise, thank you. It really does warm my heart when y'all share that with me. Oh no! Someone help! Emergency! Emergency! The kids are gone! I looked along the shore, but there was no trace of them! Oh, where could they be? What if they're in trouble in the jungle somewhere? Hey, Chuck Quizmo. <laughs> this guy's sleeping. Oh, Mario, please! Find those poor children! The Yoshi kids from this village are like grandchildren to me! Oh, those poor babies! You want me to voice your phone alerts? Message received. <laughs> you also like the different voices? Your voice in general is super soothing. Aw, Spunky, thank you! I would be honored to make the voices for your phone alerts, Majin. <laughs> Alright, let's go save the little baby Yoshis. Oh wait, the ravens! No, no, go back. I didn't talk to the ravens. Sorry, still panicking. Caw. Caw, caw, caw. Mm -hmm. All right, this is all old. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The alarm would be, it's time to wake up. It's time to wake up! Like that? back here this instant, you little ingrates! <laughs> Calm for the first try, no one snoozed. Wake up, fool! <laughs> you missed one call. Please recall as soon as possible. Hey you! Down there! Look up here if you hear me! Oh no! Sushi! This is so embarrassing. I'm stuck up in this tree. Can you help me out somehow? Mm -hmm. Come on now, try harder. Oh. Oh, phew. I'm saved. I feel like one big ache. Thanks for getting me out of that tree. I think I'll be okay now. Oh! Oh, those little... I was chasing those naughty little Yoshi boys, and I fell into their trap. Don't they know how dangerous it is to go into the jungle? I have to find them before they get in too deep. As for you, you'd better get back to the village too. It's dangerous to be out here. Why on earth did you come into the jungle anyway? Let's go! Well, so, you were looking for those little rascals as well. You wonder how Sushi got into the tree. 
It makes me wonder if they <laughs> catapulted her or something. Then, I don't see why we don't just look for them together. They really don't understand the dangers of the jungle, so we have to find them soon. Oh my, how impolite. I haven't even asked your name. What is it, pray tell? It's a me, a Mario. Mario, huh? Hmm. Well, I've never heard of you before. You must be from far away or something. Enjoy lovely Lava Lava Island. That's what I'd usually say. To a visitor, anyway. But first, could you help me find these boys? Yay! Sushi joined your party. Press the down C button on platforms at the water's edge to ride her across the water. She looks like she's struggling. <laughs> she's like, ugh! If you press the down C button again while riding her, she'll dive deep for a short time. Cheer, cheer, cheer! Wow! When in battle, she can jump attack with belly flop or douse enemies with her squirt ability. <laughs> she does look like she's struggling. <laughs> oh, okay, she's not struggling now. She's just chilling. Yo, what's up? Thanks for waking me up. This island's so nice, isn't it? This is the perfect place for napping. Perfect temperature. Also, someone who doesn't know who Mario is, you thought he was a celebrity. I don't pay attention to, uh, uh, celebrities. Yeah, I don't blame her. <laughs> I don't blame her. Sometimes you all ask me if I know these famous actors, and I don't know who they are. I've probably seen them, but I don't know their names, you know? That's why when you all keep referring to the original Mario voice actor, I go, Huh? I'm a bubble. My job is to fill this world with flowers. Nice, huh? I want you to take this seed. Or rather, that's what I want to say to you. Unfortunately, the seed isn't quite ready yet. Don't worry though, it'll be ready any time now. Waiting in a, such a warm, comfy place can't be all bad, right? Come grab the seed later. I'm pretty generous, so I'll be here giving stuff to people. Did you come for the seed? Sorry, but it's not ready yet. Don't be in such a hurry. Time flies when you chase it. Come back after a while and try to relax, okay? Stare. Oh, a bulb. I don't know why it's growing here. It's a very strange flower, don't you think? You get that. You also get big question marks above your head when someone talks about famous people. Yeah, I I don't really follow um celebrity news and stuff, so I don't really know much about it personally. The seed. Now I bet it's something very important. Important to bulbs anyway. <laughs> You got the star piece. Ooh, mail. You got the letter. A letter to Russ T in Toad Town. Cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
The original Mario on the TV uh, show before Charles was the late Lou Albano. He was a wrestler. I didn't know he was a wrestler. <laughs> Someone is sleeping. They're very loud. Mm, must be over there. Thank you for the hydrate. He was a manager type around that time. Oh, I see. Dusty, thank you for hanging out. Good night, Dusty. Sweet dreams. Ayasumi, Iyomeo. She was a guest star during the live action segments. Really? Mm. Oh, Cindy Lauper. Was Cindy Lauper's agent? Lou Albano? Small world. Let me do that hydrate, thank you. Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Yeah, I kind of forget how it went. I remember what it looked like, but they always had a fun little song in the beginning. Is it here? Nope. up there. I was like, you're very loud. <laughs> Belly flop. Push the analog stick to the left and release when the red star lights up. Cute. Aww. You grew up with the Zelda cartoon VHS that had the Super Show bumpers attached to the beginning, middle, and end. Doo -doo -doo. You'll never forget that it was the Ghostbusters parody one that scared you? I don't know if I remember that either. I never actually got to see much of the Zelda cartoon. I feel like it was the opposite way for me. I feel like I saw mostly the Super Show from Mario, and that they were little tiny, um, like, bite-sized commercials advertising the Zelda cartoon. I do remember reading the Zelda comics though. There was a really cool looking dragon near the end. Like a... There's like a blue and a, a red and a black dragon head. They look so cool. They had Ernie Hudson as a guest star on that one. Yeah, see, these kind of names I'm not familiar with. I might recognize a person if I see them, but yeah. Like, I have to admit, I have to admit, okay? One time I was looking around <laughs> for um, uh, like a student research project, right? Um, I was looking into uh, making a 3D uh, model and well, like a 3D environment, right? And so I was like, oh, let's get like a, a male avatar. And I thought, oh, that guy looks okay. Yeah, let's use that, you know? <laughs> and, and I saw the um, the uh, the title of this avatar model was like um, Brad Pitt. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I didn't realize that's what Brad Pitt looks like, oops. So I was like, I guess I can't use that as the model. <laughs> Everyone's gonna know who that is. Welcome home, Zio. You think it was also attached to the Super Show episode proper, and they reused on the Zelda to probably fill in the rest of the time slot. Oh, okay, this makes sense. The Zelda cartoon only had 13 episodes. It's so fondly remembered. 
you were sure there were more. I feel like that's the same thing with like the series, the Pirates of Dark Water. I thought they had a lot more episodes, but I don't think they did. Ernie Hudson is Winston from Ghostbusters and the character in Dragon Ball Evolution. Oh, that's where the problem is. I didn't watch either of those. I only remember Ghostbusters with the Stay Puft dude, but I didn't actually watch those. Good morning, Pam. Welcome in. A good pop for Roxas. Alrighty, when I see Roxas, Pam's. Mm -hmm. I feel like the male model story was going to go a wildly different direction. No, I was just going to go, oh, I thought for sure, yeah, this will be a great, a great character used as an avatar for everybody. And then I realized, oh, well, <laughs> the, the illusion's broken if everyone's going to know who this is. Yep. You know you were obsessed with, um, the Zelda cartoon? It was how they shrank their items to fit in their bag or something. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't get to watch much of the Zelda cartoon. I just remember seeing little snippets of it. Yum, Pasu Borlanti. You've been playing some Rebirth. Hope you're doing well. Gonna be lurking. Thank you for the lurk. I appreciate it, Borlanti. Have fun with Rebirth. I can't wait to play that sometime soon. You were a wee chicken back then. <laughs> you got the Power Quake badge. Greatly damages all enemies on the ground or ceiling. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> this character looks great. And what's that weird third? Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Not like that, Zio, no. <laughs> You will love it. Yeah, I can't wait. A good pup for pants. Alrighty. But Roxas, first, you're a good pup. Yes, you are. No. Nope. And pants, you're also a good pup. Yes, you are. No. Nope. <laughs> it's Roxas. C -c -c Combo. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Coins. Oops. <laughs> Interesting. struggling. Where are you? He's struggling. Hold on, little Yoshi. I'll find you. Uh-oh. <laughs> Never mind, save me. We got a problem. Looking very good. Mm hmm. I'm a little concerned about this. Guess I'll do it one at a time. up to the screen and prove the orb doesn't exist. There is no orb. Ouch! I'm not gonna make it. Man, that was rough. Mm -hmm. 
If I had the other badge equipped, I probably could have done a bunch of damage. This is why you love Starstorm. The guaranteed 7 damage is a real lifesaver in situations like this. Yeah, this wasn't great. <laughs> this is unfortunate. Would have probably been fine if I had Cooper. Eat the fried egg, maybe. There we go. I'm sorry, little Yoshi. I'm looking for you. I was so scary. You were playing hide and seek, and, and there was this weird plan, and it trapped me here. So she was right. We should have just stayed inside the village to play hide and seek. We should have obeyed her. I kind of want a picture of Sushi's face with the. <laughs> I've seen this picture around, but everyone puts like obey. <laughs> it's just Sushi's face with obey. Thanks for coming to get me. I'm going home now. <laughs> Lesson learned, yes. to do some focus. Did he just leave? Oh, he tricked me. seen what a shy guy's face looks like, but you remember a scene from the cartoon where Luigi saw it and he was terrified. <laughs> Luigi gets scared of a bunch of things though. With this you can upgrade one of your party members. Which party member do you want to upgrade? Sushi. Show Master Water Block to increase Mario's defense power. Cool. That's my nose. Do you want to upgrade this member? Yes. Like a scene where the mask fell off. You think so, yeah. 
Sushi is upgraded to super rank. Nice. Here we go. <laughs> I just realized you said boop. <laughs> I just realized you wrote boop, <laughs> Zio. I do not block that very well. Ouch. Sorry, Shushi, you gotta be put away. I wanna see my Goombario. We're in Jade Jungle. Quite a lot of water, huh? Since there's no bridge, we'll have to find another way to get around. <laughs> that rotating flower down by the ledge? Locals call it a spinning flower. Boop. If you spin around on top of that flower, I hear that you can float upward. You got the Fright Jar. Makes a scary spirit appear and chase some enemies away. Yeah, why did I think that was gonna work? Yeah, that was hard. Do a little heal really quick. Hi, JD. Welcome in. It was a like like disguised as a flower. I thought they called those, um, Rafa something. Like a very stinky, f rotting smelling flower. <laughs> oh, 
Rafflesia. Rafflesia? Raffle. Rafflesia. Yes, that one. You know. I don't know how to say it, though. I've only ever read about it. Never actually heard it said. But if you don't know, Zio, you know. Titum Arum, which people call the corpse flower. It's a huge one that opens rarely. Is it? I feel they call the Rafflesia. The Raff the Rafflesia. The Laff the Rafflesia. I don't know. I think they call it that in Animal Crossing though. Thank you for the head pets. Play with those. Those are scary. You could pop off. Oh, thank you, Sephiroth. Mm -hmm. Better, better. The spiky enemies. They're scary. I don't want to deal with them. <laughs> I don't want to deal with those. I still need to investigate them with Goombario, but with that many of them, I don't trust it. Raphelsia produces an odor like rotten flesh. The stench is specifically meant to attract flies. Yeah, I'm guessing there's another one called the Titan Arum, maybe? Turquoise, thank you for gifting a sub to Rarakune. That's so kind of you. Thank you. Rarakune, please enjoy the emotes. Courtesy of Turquoise. Turquoise, would you like to play the RPG? The gift. <laughs> cheer party, cheer. Cheer, gift, cheer. Sure, alrighty, let's do it. One moment. Alrighty, this is for Team Turquoise for gifting a sub. Please type an exclamation point join to help out the team. May you all defeat the dragon and win Turquoise an illustration. While you all are joining, I'm gonna go make a quick trip to the washroom. I will see you momentarily.
Reading the last call, please type an exclamation point join to help out the team. This is Routine Turquoise. Squishy emoji and the song. Thank you. <laughs> I had fun making the squish one. Enjoy your meal, Sephiroth. Bug bones with a wave. You know, song, everybody must. Let's do our best, everyone. There's the dragon. Here's Team Turquoise, led by Spunky, Mushy, and Lynx. There goes the JA Moogle attack. And the L Blast, big damage. Aurora. And the cat, Nut. Nut. Please type an exclamation point blast to help the team with their final strike. Nut. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Nut. <laughs> there goes Turquoise blessing the team. Big damage. Big damage with the final strike. But not quite enough. I had to, Sephiroth. You saw it. Everyone, thank you for helping out Team Turquoise. And Turquoise, thank you for your kindness and generosity. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Better, better. Aw, so close. This is fine. GG. Experience points are now being distributed. Turquoise is very close to leveling up. It was so refund! No, Sephiroth! J.A.'s been talking to you, huh? Even the might... <laughs> the mighty... Nut wasn't enough. GG, GG, good effort. Oof. I bet only jungle explorers know about this hidden underground chamber. It's so dark in here, I can't see a thing. Nice join, good join. <laughs> Wrong part. <laughs> well, he's stuck. I'm sorry. We're not gonna be able to get you. This looks interesting. I guess that didn't work. was way cool, so I got on it. And and then I spun around and around and, and then I was up in the air and flying and then I ended up here. I didn't know how I got here. It was so dark and scary and I couldn't find a way out. Thanks for coming to get me out of here. I can see how to get out now, so I'm going straight home. This looks so suspicious. Yeah. Uh -huh. Darkness is the scary. Yes. Especially if you don't know how to leave. That'd be very frightening. Mm -hmm. 
What do we have here? Ooh. Oops. You got the star piece. For a jungle, there sure aren't many trees around. It gets brutally hot here whenever the sun shines directly on me. It's funny how that stump was just... <laughs> just, uh... I don't know, it was very inviting for a hammer. You love that little animation. <laughs> it was fun, huh? Kind of like a pop-up um, storybook, a pop-up picture book. We were playing hide and seek. I had to be it, but I couldn't find anyone at all. I was wandering around, and then I got lost. This jungle is way too scary for kids like us, I think. Maybe we should have listened to Sushi's advice. Mario, will you be it for hide and seek instead of me? I'm going home now. Oh, hi. No, 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 no. Dang it. This is a jungle fuzzy. Jungle fuzzies are very similar to other fuzzies. But they live in the jungle, so... that's their name. Max HP 7, attack power 2, defense power 0. They cling to you, suck out your HP, and add it to their own. <laughs> what a nasty move. They won't stop clinging to you unless you tear them off with an action command. They also occasionally divide, so let's beat them before they get the chance. I should have charged. That would have been smarter.
Oops. So little. There's a big raven statue. You gotta figure. A big statue, this deep in the jungle? I bet it's important. Of course. Oops, that was a mistake. throwing to the side. It's his, um, oopsie. It's his, uh, little grass skirt. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I meant to do the heel. He was planting a seed, but he's throwing his grass skirt away when he tosses his spear.
It's a statue of Raphael the Raven. Maybe you can put something inside it. Majestic, yeah, isn't it pretty? I can't imagine what those Yoshi kids were thinking playing in a place like this. I'm not surprised though. Kids, always up to something. Besides, it's natural to want to go out on an adventure. Wake up! Ugh. Morning. Hey, it's Mario. What's the matter with you? Were you looking for me? We were playing hide and seek. And I got real sleepy. I figured I'd take a nap here. There's nothing to worry about. The jungle's not so bad. I'm starting to get a little bit lonely though, so maybe I ought to head back home. Bye now. Stranger danger. <laughs> oh no. Still missing one Yoshi. You find people through raids, like how when I was playing Hybrid Heaven. Yeah, that was fun. I actually looked into the speedrun of that. Maybe one day. I'm sorry I didn't find the last one. I'm working on it. 
Wait, you saw you were panicking. Thank you for finding my son. Please, if you could, find the other boys as well. Oh, that little monster. I thought he'd been unusually quiet recently. Just look at what he was planning. I was gonna give him a scolding he'll never forget. My son is back. Oh, I'm so relieved. I was really starting to worry. Please, Mario, find the other lost children, okay? And <laughs> the Boston Crab, yeah. That was my favorite. <laughs> Aw, oh, Mario, thank you. Can't tell you how relieved I felt when I saw my son's face. I shouldn't say that so loud. There are still kids out there, lost in the jungle. Please, you have to find them. I hope they aren't somewhere scary, alone, and afraid. scolded really bad. Everyone was really worried about me. I came back all right, so what's the big deal? I had to promise I wouldn't do anything dangerous again. <laughs> hey, but thanks for coming and finding me. Ah, Noi-san. Reido, arigatou Thank you for your raid. Thank you for your hard work. The Kappa raid? <laughs> Rengetsu-san, Irishai, Akio-san, the Kappa Raid. Mumi-san, the Kappa Raid. Soda-san, the Kappa Raid. Anoi-san, the Kappa Raid. Ben-Maria-san, the Kappa Raid. Eh? <laughs> Welcome, readers. Ayumi-san, the Kappa Raid. Eh? Welcome, readers. Nao-san, the Kappa Raid. Welcome in, readers. <laughs> Let me get somewhere a little bit nicer music. How was the stream? What were you up to? You were playing some Dead by Daylight? Really? Were you playing as the... the, um... the killer or the... the survivors? For those who don't know Ahanoi-san, please check him out. He will tell you he is not a Kappa. <laughs> he will tell you he is a Shisa. A guardian... guardian lion kind of character. But... Ahanoi-san likes to play a lot of different games. Um, he's played things like Jump King and um, now recently some Dead by Daylight. And he likes to talk about, uh, I believe, current events happening around in Japan. Every now and then I can see the, the latest news when he's streaming. He's also been playing a lot of um, Soulsborne games. So a lot of things like Dark Souls and Elden Ring. He's been playing a lot of those. But yes, please check out Ahanoi-san. Go give him a lot of love. Welcome, Raiders. Ashi-san, Kappa Raid. Dani-san, Kappa Raid. <laughs> Mina-san, Irishai. Welcome in, everyone. Watashi wa Arin desu. I'm Alvin. Watashi wa Aoinu desu. I'm a blue dog. Koi no emi ga suki desu. I like to voice act. Today we're playing some Paper Mario. And, um... We're looking for baby Yoshi, because they are lost in the jungle. You're welcome in, everyone! Ah, uh, Noi-san, do you want to play the MRPG? Lostborn games? No! Soulsborn! RPG go go? Okay. Let's do it. Alrighty, this is for Team Ahanoi san. Please type in exclamation point join to help out the team. May you all defeat the dragon and win Ahanoi san in illustration. Nice join, good join. 
Squish, squish. Ah, uh, pizza. <laughs> Again, this is for Team Ahanoi Song to celebrate Ahanoi Song reading in. Please type an exclamation point join to help out the team. Squish, 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 squish. Let's do our best, everyone. <laughs> Praying for the the only son. There's the dragon. Here's Team Ahanoi son led by Sephiroth, Ayumi san, and Chi. There goes the Roxy Blast. Critical hit. And the Rhythm Blast. Critical hit. Oh my. Aurora. Is it a Giga Strike? There goes Sephiroth! It's a Giga Strike with the Sephiroth Explosion! Ah! <laughs> Congratulations, Ahanoi-san! Onnachito gozaimasu! What do you win? Ahanoi-san! You won a mini doodle! Congratulations! Onnachito gozaimasu! Yatta! Yatta! Cheer cheer! Wada wada! Ah! Yay! Yay! Cheer party cheer! Cheater! <laughs> ah! Chiki chiki! Pashi pashi! Happy birthday! <laughs> Kurukami-san. Pachi Pachi. Scam. Scam Janai Das. <laughs> Yay. That was three criticals. It was. Crazy. Turquoise now level 28. Congratulations. Scam. Scam Janai Das. <laughs> Doya. <laughs> Ahanoi-san. If you want to claim your mini doodle, you can go into our Discord and check under RPG in the info section. Too easy! Ahanoi-san! Muzukashina! <laughs> yes, thank you all for helping out team Ahanoi-san! Ahanoi-san! Redo arigatou gozaimasu! Motsukare-sama deshita! Thank you for your raid! Thank you for your hard work! I hope you had fun playing Dead by Daylight! Thank you agree that there were people that it was a scam! <laughs> Big battle, yeah, that was a lot of big damage. Not here. There's definitely some place I think I was supposed to go south and I didn't. This way? Hmm. I was here. Hmm. Unless the Yoshi's hanging around out here somewhere. I didn't consider that. Refund info, no Zephyroth. <laughs> hmm. I see that stopwatch, but I don't want to pick it up.
available refunds zero next to availability never. <laughs> yes. Although hmm. Yoshi's hiding pretty well, I guess he's lost forever. the yellow Yoshi I'm missing. Mario, just one more remains. Please find him right away. You seem to be an expert at finding lost children, Mario. We're counting on you. Where? Where are those kids? Where could my son be? How deep into the jungle could a little kid get? Oh, what if some nasty creature attacks him and... Oh, I can't even think about it. I'm so worried. That jungle was dangerous, huh? And scary too, right? People told us not to go, but it made us want to go even more. Now I won't go anymore. I'm really sorry for making everyone worry so much. Hmm. <laughs> Marketing super villain? No. <laughs> when does Refund Man show up? There's no such thing as Refund Man. And now some of the guys are still out there. I wish they'd... I wish they'd come back soon. I just want to play hide and seek together again. I just wanted to go somewhere exciting where there were no grown-ups and where we could see and do whatever we wanted. See? I mean, we went into the jungle and all, but it was scary and there were bad guys. And I got tired. I'll be good. For now. I'm sorry if people worried. I'm glad you found me. Thank you for finding my son. He's a bad boy for making everyone worry so. Very bad. <laughs> I'm still worried about the other boys too. There are so many dangers in the jungle. So many creatures with evil hearts. Hey, thanks for finding me. This jungle's full of danger. I mean, the village is boring. Compared to the village, the jungle's really exciting. It was scary, yeah, but fun. I guess I have to be a good boy for a while now. You better find the other guys soon before they get lost. They're lost. No refunds, man. No, no refunds. How could I have lost this little Yoshi? Just a thought. This is the Yoshi that hides in the neighbor's yard when playing hide and seek. Any kid does that. <laughs> I'm gonna play hide and seek. I'm gonna go hide in my house. This guy knows something now. I 
Thank you for the head pets. Not ready. I was curious if you saw a Yoshi. <laughs> Hopefully he's not in the water. That would be bad. Not the Yoshi up here. You definitely had one of those friends before. Never care about the rules and made stuff up. Oh no. too early. Weepy sheep. Just here. Hmm. would be back there. Hmm. He's not making much of noise. Whoopsie. Maybe it's to the right. Yeah, let's go to the right. Great. Squish, squish. Thank you. 
could have used star power. Would have made it a little bit nicer. At least you get a lot of experience. <laughs> Five experience. I was hoping it would be a little kinder. Somebody help me! Oh no. I'm so scared! I want to go home! I'm sorry, Baby Yoshi. Hopefully Goombaro is the right choice for this. for the hammer attack. Putrid Piranha. This is a Putrid Piranha. Max HP 12, attack power 3, defense power 0. Putrid Piranhas sometimes bite, but the truly scary thing is their nasty, poisonous breath. You see a lot. You guess one point per enemy really isn't a lot. <laughs> I was hoping it'd be a little more. It seemed like it, it might have been, you know? But not quite there. Power are their bad breath is too, but your HP will begin to fall if you get poisoned. You should try to recover as quickly as possible if you get poisoned. Hmm. Looking good. I'm going to the party. Matane, Dani san. Thank you for hanging out. You tell shy, take care. Matane, see you later. Mm -hmm. Pera -pera. Matane, Dani san. <laughs> Good night, Al. Gonna set up for the alarm. <laughs> Get up, fool! Sugar! <laughs> Good night, Majin. Sweet dreams. Thanks for hanging out. Yes, please check out Dani san. Dani san is very, very cool. Does a lot of DJing events and also has worked on multiple games like Trace Memory and Street Fighter. Dani san also likes to do a bunch of um, streaming about uh, uh, the different areas in Japan. It's really fun to see. Please check out Dani san. Go give them a lot of love. Right up. Thanks for saving me, Mario. I'll do what you grown-ups tell me to do from now on. Dance, dance. You did a shy, Dani san. Take care. I don't even want to do bad things anymore. I just want to be a good boy. I'm going home now. Bye. Yay. My, it's bright here. This must be the outskirts of the jungle, huh? Incidentally, I have no idea how those Yoshi kids could come this deep into the jungle. Mm -hmm. 
Oopsie, wrong one. She wants to become a good pup. <laughs> you mean dinosaur. <laughs> they don't want to do bad things anymore. <laughs> the fearsome five are... The fearsome five are back! When all of us are together, we fear nothing and nobody. Sure, the jungle was scary, but did we have fun? Oh yeah! I think it's time for another adventure of the Fearsome Five. <laughs> the Fearsome Five are back! We got scolded, so we'll be good. For now. <laughs> but we'll be back to doing exciting things again soon! Yeah! Hey, Mario! What are you doing now, huh? Something fun? What? You're gonna go inside the volcano! Oh boy, that sounds awesome! I wish I could go too. Everyone has finally calmed down since you found the kids! Thank you, thank you! Children are treasured by everyone in the village. That reminds me. The village leader wishes a thank you. You should go over to see him. The Fearsome Five are back! Back from the depths of the wild jungle! There was danger, intrigue, Yoshi-eating beasts! I was a little scared, but I want to go there again. <laughs> oh no, just kidding. Hey Mario, are you really going to go to the volcano now? It's really hot and dangerous. Grown-ups always tell us not to go to dangerous places, but you're allowed to go? The Yoshis will never change. <laughs> dino dance, dino dance. That's not fair. Kids get no respect. No respect at all. Nya, nya, nya. <laughs> I'd be good now. You want to go into a volcano? Awesome! I want to go too. The Fearsome Five are back! There's nothing to be afraid of when all of us are together. We aren't scared of the jungle. We aren't scared of anything. Five friends forever. Even after we're grown-ups, we'll still be friends. A field trip to a volcano? Count me in! The kids are all back! I was heartbroken thinking of how scared and lonely they must have been. But as soon as they got back, they just said they were hungry. <sighs> Kids, how typical. I suppose it's natural for children to be energetic, but they need to be safe too. They never learn. Oh, by the way, our village leader wants to thank you. You'd better go see him. Fearsome Five are back! Boy, there was a lot of tasty food growing in the jungle. That adventure has both... That adventure was both thrilling and filling. Huh? Everyone gives me flack for eating all the time. But what else is there to do? If you go on an adventure, you've got to take snacks. Even grown-ups know that. <laughs> Bum, bum, bum. Mm-hmm. 
are you, old man? The village leader was just looking for you. I'd say he wants to thank you. Better hurry, hmm? He might just tell you where the treasure is if he's feeling thankful enough. This is fine. I'm so glad the kids are safely back from that dangerous jungle. We owe you, Mario. The kids seemed like they got scared by the experience, but they still didn't learn anything. <sighs> Those boys promised they'd never go into the jungle alone. Little troublemakers. This could have turned into a serious situation if you hadn't found them, Mario. You wouldn't believe the scolding I gave them. They ought to behave themselves for a while. At least, I hope they do. Thanks to you, the kids are all back, safe and sound. Oh, thank you so much! Our village leader said he wants to thank you personally. Go see him, please! This is fine. I don't know how to thank you for saving the children. You've done a great thing. The village leader said there's something he wants to give you, you know. This is fine. He's waiting for you over there. Mario, I must thank you. You have saved the children of the village. I feel that no expression of our gratitude could be enough. You truly are a hero. We deeply appreciate your valor. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. We deeply appreciate your valor. Free, free. At least I can do this. You still wish to go to Mount Lava Lava, don't you? I have remembered a good way to reach the volcano. Please come this way. I thought it was somewhere around here. Oh yes, I found it. Here it is. Take it, please. You got the Jade Raven. The Jade statue of a raven that the Yoshi's village leader gave you. Whenever events beyond our control occur on this island, we ask the help of Raphael the Raven. The island's master. If anyone can help you reach the volcano, it's definitely Raphael the Raven. He lives in the depths of this island. If you place that Jade Raven into the statue of Raphael, the way into the depths of the jungle will appear. I haven't been able to see Raphael since I was a young Yoshi. I remember that it was incredibly difficult to find him, because the jungle's trees and shrubs covered the way. I'm sure you'll find the path. May all your wishes come true. Wait just one minute. Why in the world would you want to go to Mount Lava Lava? I'm sorry, but I can't just keep my mouth shut when I hear someone talking crazy. It's very hot and very dangerous in the volcano. If you aren't extremely careful and lucky, 
you'll be roasted to golden brown. But you don't care. You guys are always going there anyway. I do not approve of this. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh! You're going to the volcano because you want to save the princess from some bad guys? What? A touching story. Romantic stories like that. Just touch a soft spot in this heart of mine. That does it. I can't let you go alone. I, Sushi, will be by your side until the end. You needn't worry, Mario. I love taking care of others. If you plan on getting through this jungle, you need me anyway. Come, Mario. That volcano isn't getting any cooler. If you put that Jade Raven into the statue of Raphael, the way into the depths of the jungle will appear. Since trees and bushes have overgrown... Since trees and bushes have grown over the path, you might get lost. If you do, just be sure to scout the area carefully. You might have to do something unexpected to find your way. For saving our sweet children. Please think of this village as if it were your home. We will always welcome you. I'm glad the kids are back safely, but... They're causing mischief again. Children can be so troublesome. Those boys promised they'd never go into the jungle alone. <laughs> the kids looked shaken up when they first got back from the jungle, but they're okay now. They didn't learn their lesson, those little scamps. Still, I can't be angry at them. I'm so happy they're safe. It's all thanks to you. Mm -hmm. Well, well, finally. Everyone's calmed a bit. Now we can go get some good information about the treasure from these locals. Well, where to start? We simply must go search for that treasure at the volcano. Maybe I don't need sushi for that. Hmm. Okay, I definitely need sushi here.
The jade statue of a raven that Yoshi's village leader gave you. darker in here. The trees are much thicker, and that bizarre ivy seems to be growing everywhere. Oh, an egg. You got an egg. Crazy how they have the jungle sound effects in the background with the little animals. Ah, oh, a little too slow. Uh oh. I'll just do this. little fountains. It's be an underground spring. If we push these blocks over the holes to seal them, what'll happen to the water? Do you think it'll come out of another hole? Probably. When do we get the paper pizza? Hmm, maybe I might be able to make paper pizza. Maybe. Ooh, hello. Take it. Pizza. <laughs> I should have climbed on that um, vine up there. Let's see. I just saw the vine up there. Hmm. 
Mm. like some of the ivy is hanging off the trees here. I wonder what would happen if you pulled on it. Great. Pizza made out of paper has to be the thinnest crust ever. <laughs> it would be, wouldn't it? Oops. this. I'll toss this. Oh, come on. Thank you for the nine months. Welcome in, Juho. Hope you're doing well. Nine months, wow. Do you want to play the hour RPG? Mm -hmm. Dino dance, dino dance. <laughs> cheer, cheer. What part of Jade Jungle are we in? I... I'm thinking we're deep in the inner jungle. I think I hear something. From just ahead, I can almost hear mysterious voices. Good morning, Juho. You been good? Tired, but you're alright? You don't mind the RPG? Alrighty, we will play for you. Hope you get some good rest soon. Please type an exclamation point join about the team. This is for Team Juho to celebrate them supporting our channel for nine months. Please join, good join. Wish, wish, jam, jam. This is again for Team Juho. Please type an exclamation point join to help out the team. May you all defeat the dragon and win Juho an illustration. Mm 
Next join, good join. Let's do our best, everyone. There's the dragon. Here's Team Juho, led by Ayumi-san, Spunky, and Hashi-san. There's Sephiroth. They're the best-looking pup here. And Baby and Princess are not your average bogs. Aurora! There goes the Sephiroth last. Critical hit! Please type an exclamation point blast to help the team with their final strike. <laughs> J.A. is not in the game, Juho. <laughs> Good luck! There goes Hashi-san, blessing a team. Big damage. Big damage with the final strike. But not quite enough. Everyone, thank you for helping out Team Juho. Juho, thank you again for the nine months. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Ayumi-san, omaito gozaimasu. Now level 19. And Spunky, congratulations. Now level 5. GG. GG. Hashi-san, congratulations. Omaito gozaimasu. Now level 22. <laughs> the flex, so powerful. Oh. GG, nice find. <laughs> There's a little bit of concern here. Oh my. I didn't see that guy. I'm gonna try to take out one. Oh, thank goodness. You gotta level up. I'm oh, too slow. Too slow for that. Did he just run away? No, I wanted to I wanted to investigate who he was. What a huge tree! This definitely must be the biggest tree in Jade Jungle! How old must it be? Ooh, the tune got funky. I think I forgot to look for a treasure.
Yeah, treasure's in here. I know, sorry. It was getting really funky. And then I was like, I gotta look for treasure, I forgot. Cheer party, cheer. There we go. Okay, I think it was just that area. It's so spacious in here. I can't believe we're inside a tree right now. <laughs> Ruining the good vibes, I'm sorry. <laughs> Why doesn't Bowser just get a shredder from Home Depot to deal with Mario? He has kind of one. He has the star rod. <laughs> all right, folks, we're going to call it here for the evening. But I want to say thank you all for joining me today. I had a lot of fun. And I hope you did too. And also a huge thank you for everyone who's been supporting us as we push for partner. I really, really appreciate all of your company and your uh, presence. But yeah, let me see who's on. We can show the love to you. I think I know who I'm expecting. So they should be on. But let me just check that they're on. And yes, we will be coming back again tomorrow and on Sunday. So Saturday and Sunday. We will be playing our first playthrough of Crisis Core. Final Fantasy VII Reunion. I think we were maybe on chapter 4 or something in there. But yeah. We'll do some more side quests in there and then do a bunch of story early on. So I hope to see you again soon for some more Final Fantasy VII Reunion Crisis Core. We got to paper end of stream. We did. <laughs> thank you for streaming today. Spunky, thank you for hanging out. GA, thanks for hanging out. Stream over. We'll miss you. I'll miss you all too, Sephiroth. And all the amazing pups, yes. <laughs> thank you, good night. See you, thank you for hanging out. Good night, see you. <laughs> good night, JA. Or good morning, JA. I guess it's morning for you. Good morning, JA. No, I'm coming in late. I'm sorry. Precious, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think that um, we will have an updated uh, starting time once uh, the, uh, what do you call it? The daylight savings time thing rolls around again. It should be coming soon, I think. But yes, thank you all for being here. Gee, thank you. <laughs> yes, all side quests. Oops, all side quests. <laughs> it was relaxing. Radakune, thank you again for the raid and for hanging out. I appreciate that. Take care, everyone. See you later, Spunky. Oh, it's curry summer. Something eels. Arigato zaimas. Oh, yes, Sumi, something eels. Good morning, Mabaroshi. Thank you for hanging out. I did. I had a lot of fun, Precious. Thanks for dropping in. I hope to catch you next time. Mm -hmm. Thank you for stream. Ayumi-san, arigato zaimasu. Your state doesn't observe DST. <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> Lucky you. We're gonna get more story. Okay, I'm gonna call night here. <laughs> we got a lot of story today. <laughs> And yes, a special thank you to everyone who rated in. I really, really appreciate that. Let me see. Who all? Oh yes, thank you, Chi. <laughs> Arigato zaimasu, Rengetsu-san, and Shpan. Arigato zaimasu, Ai-san, and Ari. Arigato zaimasu, Dani-san, and Lynx. Juniper, Arcade, Radakune, Idol. Arigato zaimasu, Ohanoi-san. Thank you all for the raids, and everyone who came along with them. And everyone who's been here chatting and lurking. Thank you for your company as well. Alright, I'm expecting Sororoi Bot to be on, but let me make sure that they're on. <laughs> This music is so nice. Wow. Wow. 
Thoroughly <laughs> bought as an encounter needs to close. What? <laughs> There they are. Alright, let me open up the raid. Alright, we are going to go send the love to Sororoid Bot, who is the administrator for Sororoid San, who is an android living in Japan. It's a very, very fun time over there, and it's also really awesome if you happen to have the game Party Animals or Super No Doggy World. Sora-san will welcome you to play either of those games if you have them. Mm -hmm. Yes, if you don't know Sora-san, I hope you'll come with me and check her out. She's very, very friendly, can speak with you in English, Japanese, and some French, and She's super sweet. She also has a lot of fun uh, interactive chat commands. And I'll show you just a little example really quick. So yeah, some of my favorite chat commands on the bottom left there include subscribe, oh no, and jump. You can also use the shoot command, but be careful because Sora-san will shoot back. Zio knows. <laughs> But yes, it is chaotic over there, but it's all a lot of fun. And you will see very cute things like pigeons and the blowfish, Fugu. But yes, Sora sounds super sweet, very, very fun to hang out with. And I like watching when everyone plays the party games together. And again, if you do have the party game, um, Party Animals or Super No Doggy World, you can also join in the fun too. I highly recommend you ask to join in. Yes, let's go send the level to Sora san. <laughs> it's true, I only get to go to sleep if Sora san wins. <laughs> so please, please use that <laughs> as the raid message. <laughs> Alrighty, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow. Mata ashita. Take care. Itadashai. Oyasumi. Good night. Iyomeyo. Sweet dreams. <laughs> or you can use Zeos, yes, but watch out. <laughs> Sora-san will shoot back. <laughs> Alright everyone, I'll see you over there. 